You know, I always leave it OBS muted from my uh, G13. It's weird. That's odd. Oh, I've got all this stuff. All right, let's see if that's Fixing it. Oops. That looks right. Uh, let's start with house P. Uh, let me check my timers here. Got five raids on timer at the moment, which is nice. So Vaughn in four and a half hours, Death Room in four and a half hours, and then a Thunder Peak caught in the web and Shroud in two days plus. So good there, and then my ransacks Wiz King. Thunder Peak, Spies, and Shroud. So, given that... Alright, Titan, I didn't think I had anything going. I was wondering what you were talking about. <clears throat> Alright. Party Crashers, just to get warmed up. So, I'm on Thelanus, um, just currently... Autopilot doing dailies um, on my epic character, but if you uh, want to join and I don't have to play this character, so I talked to somebody the other day who said they might want to play this morning. I plan to play quite a bit of the day. Um, I'm off today, it's a holiday, MLK day, so there's no rush. I just thought that I usually don't get to stream on here during uh, daytime, maybe catch some people in different time zones or people who are work, who are after work or whatever and wants to. These archers have signal crystals attached on top. Play. Oh, excuse me. I will wake up eventually. I think there's one last Dr. Pepper in the house if I have to. Yeah, I know. I will definitely bow out to Queen on her regularly scheduled time. But that's not till what, eight plus hours away? I got time. The yeah, SO is working as well, so. They won't be home until probably 11 or noon. That having to go in at 3 a.m. stuff is just blah. Not fun. Alright. Where are you? I think you're that one. Only destroying the real one. Will end this death. Hello, auto attack. That must 
rest of his The illusionary as well as the barrier into the next chamber. I don't know why it says greater two unit fighting, because I did uh this place feels like it's perfect two unit fighting. Oops, that's not what I want. Get the right mouse buttons going. The destruction of this make believe scorpion has also extinguished the mushroom. The illusionary bell yep. is back. <clears throat> if I hadn't been so tired, it would have been uh, even more fun when I was joining you. But I was pretty out of it. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was doing uh, Thunder Home Slayers. That's right. So I had that potion running, and I didn't want to miss out on. I got my was it five thousand almost to seventy five hundred, I think. It was at like halfway through six or almost seven. Another run or two through there with a the group. Just have 75. I might wait for. Uh, when I start doing arcane lives for that, though. This is my seventh epic life, I believe. Nice Titan. Oh, we bought some for uh, holiday visitors, and then they didn't drink at all. So, that so doesn't like Dr. Pepper, so it's all up to me. <laughs> I really don't drink soda anymore, so it kind of screws up my sleep schedule, and I don't really want to do that very often, but if I needed to wake up this morning, hopefully it'll just keep me awake during the day and not spill into the nighttime. Reincarnate into divine here, hopefully shortly, as in this week or so. Yeah, that's useless to me. Colors of Queen and Double Rainbow are both useless to me. If I were ranged or cast spells, it might be useful. The ballrooms on the far side of the chapter house, and it seems rather unlikely. Next to the security gates, a large dragon mark of shadow is embedded into the wall. If it were to activate, you would not be able to destroy it as you did with the marks in the illusion area. Plus, my charisma in here sucks. The Chapter House Theater normally hosts stage plays for Fialan's in yeah. It looks like its shows are on hold during the Grand Gala. Doesn't do anything for me, really. I'm, uh, I almost missed that jump the first time in a long time. Um... Just direct damage. That's why Fury is really ideal. Um, I need to remember which of the divine ones I'm going to go into, but so far Fury has been awesome. The illusions in this display hall don't appear to be interactive like the ones in the illusion area. 
They probably won't attack you. Yes. That's why I like the direct damage that applies all the time. I've got enough abilities to juggle here as it is. You finally reach the House Fiarlin Grand Gala. Now to find the guest list and add Cyan's name. The party guest here seems like a harmless old elf, but that facade does not fool you. You easily see through to the malicious tiefling underneath. Let's wait for Cyan. Let's see if I can finish my cereal. So I'll check that text message I just got. Oh, that's right, he has to work. A friend of mine. We usually text in the mornings on our work days and <laughs> yeah, I'm usually good about not getting into stuff. I don't like a lot of desserts and sweets and stuff, but the ones I do like, it's hard to stay away from. I don't really care for most cupcakes, so that wouldn't be a bit hard thing for me to do. But something like, say, Krispy Kreme maple ice donuts, that would be a lot rougher to avoid. Or caramel cheesecake or something like that. Morning everybody, welcome, thanks for watching. This is Simorgu on DDO stream. Unscheduled. But uh Kind of on a whim, I just decided to go ahead and stream this morning. Ask Cordovan about it, and he's fine with it, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Yeah, I don't really like cheese in general, especially if it's melted, um, or cream cheese at all. But for some reason, cheesecake is delicious. Your stream on Friday, I thought, is when it was. That's why I asked him. When everybody was chatting with him. 
There you go. Had the idea, hey, maybe I should just stream on Monday. It's a holiday. He okayed it, so here I am. Yeah, I'm going to probably at least noon when the SO gets home, and depending on lunch and what we'd feel like afterwards, I may go as long as uh, when Queen starts. We'll see. Definitely won't go over that. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, um. Resize it this time. Forgot to do that. Let's look. Yeah, it looks like it's too big. Let's see, where is that? There. Well, that doesn't help. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. like about there is good I just need to scroll it down yep there it goes all right that's what happens when the windows bigger than the region you're capturing stuff happens Oh, do I want to do snitch? Actually, I'll go ahead and do this uh, double assault. Uh, hi, Sean. Oh, one well, of my guildmates is in there. Yeah, I'm happy to start. No, won't get any. We're over level. That's another benefit to uh, epic reincarnating is that you get those to or uh, better. Token uh, uh.
So a live app is in my guild. I think I've worked with Kentori before. Um, Ms. Adventure and Thaddeus or maybe's. I don't usually run it this time, so there's probably a certain amount of different people that are running than I normally see because of time zones and such. size that uh, overlay again on stream I can see that it needs to be like 10% bigger It'd be perfect Where are these people coming from? Oh, they're on ship. They might be doing the ship buff thing. Excuse me, hope I muted that in time. Son, I don't. Oh. Let's see what my token status is. Nineteen greater, three hundred and seventy five tokens and A little over 2,000 fragments. getting buffs I usually don't get. I usually just solo this on normal for more shroud ingredients and tokens. He's still on the ship. There he goes. He's in the marketplace now. Should be pretty quick then. You definitely don't want to miss the door in this quest. It's open for a very short time. None of us are arcanes, but we all have arcane might. That was short. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a cakewalk. I 
I normally kind of snooze through this first part anyway. Oh, I'm getting hit? Alright. I guess I'll start swinging. Got plenty of self healing. I need to talk, be topped off. Once you have a disco ball, this quest is just ridiculous. It's really not that bad to solo um, once you do enough damage. If you got the DR breakers or just have enough base damage to get through it. First three waves are pretty easy. Excuse me. Maybe getting the Dr. Pepper sooner than I thought. Make sure to stay hydrated so my eyes don't dry out too much again. Once you're this late, you're just piking pretty much. Occasionally you can draw aggro through the door, but. It's nice if you can join just after the door closes. You just sit back there, get all the XP and pike. And then you still get the loot at the end. It's not a bad deal. That is a good point. If you've just epic reincarnated, this is a great quest to pike. Get that nice jump start on your experience without having to worry about anything really. Because you know the people in the group will take care of it. You just sit back, relax, and let it happen. Unfortunately, you don't get the killing blow. So you don't get tokens. Oh, it's not, we're on hard anyway. Never mind. We could have very easily done hard with this group. Got a blade barrier, got a disco ball. Don't really need much else. While I'm out here, the third wave is spawning right into me. It's... Get that bonus. Is that a mortal fear proc? Or is that something else? So given that level 30 is coming by the end of the year, I'm probably not going to have, well, I might have my first 
Gotcha. Set of epic lives done by then. We'll probably not have much more than that. Don't we'll probably won't have iconics or much of anything else done. It's only six more lives. Sorry, I'll stop doing play barriers. How's everybody doing this morning? Anybody actually at work? Given that it may not be morning where you are. I would normally be at work. But it's a holiday, so what the heck. Approaching 8.30 here in the morning. Yep. Although actually I only have a job for another week and a half. See. And time to loot the bodies. That's the most important part. Forget resting, I want to loot the bodies. Lose half my buffs here. again during that whole thing. Oh well, we didn't need it anyway. Is it the same remove here that I have? Yeah. Plus four. Definitely need to look into farming up a planar guard. And a royal guard mask. Those quests are just so long to farm, though. Blah. Is the Gird in the end chest or one of the optional chests? I forget. I haven't done that quest too many times. Hey, Ribo. Ribo Pido. How's it going? Hmm. I have to look that up before I do it again. So much nicer have to chase all those guys in yourself. 
That's good, Drybo. We're here to provide gameplay. <laughs> Even if Devil still doesn't the most thrilling thing in the world. It's funny because the difference between normal and hard is quite a bit, and you see groups that can do this just no problem on normal. Absolutely get slaughtered on uh, hard. In OBS, what you do is you pop out your chat and uh, capture a window region from that uh, window and use that as one of your overlays. It's pretty easy to do. Um, the problem is that generally the chat window it doesn't necessarily say the same size as you want it. Like I like having it wider. So every time I use it, I have to go back in and uh, reset the window region. And resize the window and all that, but it works pretty well. There's plenty of tutorials out there. If you just do a search for it, you'll uh, find a tutorial. It's actually an overlay, it's not in the game. I wish you could do the Twitch chat in the game, that would be much easier. The effect is nice. It looks like somewhat like you're uh, chatting in game. I like having the chat show on stream so you can see what the person's are responding to. Why did they just say hello to that person? Why did they just say that? Oh, okay, it's right there in chat. You can see it. Otherwise, there's no record of the chat. I think the chat's a key part of the Twitch experience. The interact interaction with the broadcaster is what makes it best thing. You killed my mob. How dare you. Where'd he go? Mr. Teleport's really annoying. It doesn't last that long. Hey yo, Shags, how you doing? Oh, come on, die. There we go. <sighs> uh, TDO Central is requested to follow you on Twitter. How about that? So yeah, if anybody's on Flawless and wants to play, let me know. Um, we have, what, one more wave here? I kind of lost track. I said I'm pretty much coasting through this on autopilot. But I can stay on my epic character, or I can switch to a lower level heroic. I've got various characters and heroics that I can get on with. Oh. So 
am I doing spies? I figure I'll do that later. I don't think. Do you have flagged for vision destruction? I don't think I'm flagged. I've never done that before. Vod and Todd. Let's see, what else haven't I done? Oh, one of the House C ones. But I've knocked several off my list. Um, finally, didn't come out on the web last night, yesterday, something like that. I did Death Run the other day for the first time. Fire in the Nerd Peak. So I'm slowly getting there. Abbott did that the other day. I love how you can just even blow somebody who's dancing, they keep dancing. It's hilarious. It's irresistible. Even if you're stunned. Gotta keep dancing. I used to have an earthquake tracker on my phone that showed all the earthquakes, and it was amazing how many there were every day. All over the place. I gotta have. I gotta run more interesting quests. This is gonna put me to sleep. Maybe if it was on hard or something more, I'd have to pay more attention. But you're way overpowered for. I was doing yesterday, but I one shot somebody with a trip. It was funny. I hit a critical hit with a trip. And uh, just took him out. Oh, finally. You say that as if it's going to be some big thing, but it's not. He is dead. So repeat twice a day for your entire epic career. I will give you my charities, can't I? Absolute junk.
wonder if maybe the uh, level 30s will make me go back to heroics. We'll see. Hey, Blackstorm. How's it going? Haven't seen you in, uh, what, 10 hours, 9 hours, something like that? Thing going on. Vaughn five and six E E. I think I'm still on timer though. Did I say I was on timer earlier? Yep, I'm still on timer. Oh well. I won't worry about it then. So again, I'm on Thelonis. If ever anybody wants to join doing something, let me know. I may try and switch to another character at some point, just to give my other characters some love. Let's see what else there's available. There's a Gola fan. It's already been 20 minutes active. No, thank you. Yeah. Nothing really exciting. My other characters really aren't that great at soloing. So that's another consideration for doing the lower level stuff. And it's also a reason why I run epics a lot. Now that I've got this character to this state. Did you see the thread in the DDO forms? The person who has a uh, hundred and some odd uh, past lives. They were talking about how they did a uh, Hero TR in like 20 minutes and an epic TR in like 5 minutes. That was pretty amusing. Oh yeah, my Slayer account, so I'll put those back in the bank. I'm going to be doing that. Oh, let's go ahead and go to Evening Star. Again, everybody, thanks for watching. Appreciate it this morning. I kind of figured there'd be people around to watch. You know, most of the streams that I follow aren't going around this time of morning. Uh, you can hear that, huh? No, it's water for now. I haven't uh, gotten up yet to get the Dr. Pepper. I did plan ahead and get water though. I need to stay hydrated, especially my eyes today. If I do this uh, more often, I need to get some eye drops and or some gunners or something. Because uh, dry eyes are real. Just try to blink more as well. Let's see if that helps. I must have just been staring last night. The whole time. You are greeted only by silence and a strange smell. A smell of the golden short garden after a rain. Roots, vines, woodland creatures, and oot lodge. Some foul, there is some kind of 
Oh god, no. Hot Dr. Pepper, ugh. I actually have to switch to my bigger water cup, too. The smaller one I have is better insulated, but, uh... Does not hold nearly as much water. Yep, I'm just soloing. Just give me a second here and I'll get to you. I love when my heels come in the same time I do in a cocoon. That's awesome. Overgrowth, yeah, or an overgrowth, or I'm an overgrowth. Something rustles in the deep foliage. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, I may not be able to get this. even a champion it was just taking too long. I'm knocked down, the wolf's knocked down. Dungeon Scaling, how are you? It's a freaking door. Why aren't you opening it? Uh, sometimes my character just doesn't seem to understand.
Just continue up the chain. Well, we're halfway to 27, which is a good thing. Let's see. There. Ooh, excuse me. All right, if I'm still yawning that much after I get through uh, the rest of this chain and... Uh, don't drink the water, then I'm gonna get that dark pepper. See if that'll wake me up. Recycling must be here. Here, a truck backing up outside. Trash already came earlier. Say my motorcycle. I said recycling. With that, head priest Jaskier opens a door to the quarantine area. You go through and deal with Yeah, one of my guildmates is going skiing in Europe. Uh, This week, next week, something like that. I don't remember where he said he was going. Exactly, somewhere in Europe. For a ski trip. I haven't skied in a long time. Never was a big thing for me. It was fun enough, but didn't really grab me. Hmm. Gonna have to watch my health a little bit here. Hide out for a second. I 
It's a race. I'm losing. That reminds me, I need to fill back up on my heal pots. I'm actually losing the race. There it goes. That's what I want to get my auxiliary healing in. That was closer than it should have been. Don't think I've been skiing since my dad uh, injured his knee. But that was our last ski trip. Ah, I forgot to mute again, sorry. Let's see here. Finish Druid's chain real quick. Dude, drink the water. And see if there's anything else interesting. Yeah, I Probably should do that. That's cool. Means you probably go there every year, then, if not more often than that. Never really understand understood how timeshares worked. I know we used somebody's once or twice because they weren't going to use it, but that's about it. You have reached Thorn Hollow, the Druid Hall saves home. This idyllic woodland scene betrays him. Yeah, I probably would have helped if I put stone skin on. Let's go ahead and do that now before I forget. Probably good after the skiing to be able to take a warm swim. I don't swim much anymore either. Friends nearby have a pool, and uh, they have four kids, so they're swimming all the time during the summer. I might go in once during the year. And then uh, we have been going on a cruise every year for our vacation. It's been our one vacation every year. For the past couple of years, and uh, it's a cruise, so you're on a boat with a pool, and usually you're in the Caribbean, so there's plenty of opportunities to swim, and we just really don't. Yeah, those are neat. I like those pools that. Uh, our indoor outdoor pools and stuff. Hmm. Actually, it's it'd be worse if it uh, if you had heard about that uh, carnival cruise a year or two ago, where uh, something happened, their power got cut. And the boat was still floating, but uh, 
it was out there in the middle of wherever and uh, no power which means no working toilets which means it was not a fun time and we go cheap we just get the interior cabins so yeah not fun first time we did a cruise we went ahead and did the uh, balcony and we found we didn't really use it so it was kind of neat to be able to pop out there but we saved a ton of money by uh, not doing that anymore that's how we've been able to afford to go every year but now that I'll be out of a job here in a couple weeks probably won't be able to afford to go anymore depending on what I can find after that but this one we're going on next is already paid for so we're still going and really we don't care about the ocean it's more of a thing where uh, we go every year with the same group of people and Um, it's pretty easy as far as vacation decisions go. It's whatever the group's going, doing okay, let's just do it. Not a whole lot of thought and planning goes into that part of it. Get our boat tickets, get our plane tickets, we're done. Usually visit my mom. Sometimes we see a hockey game, depending on schedule and uh, spend a week on a boat. This time we're probably going to go to see a uh, Yoda guy. He uh, might want to look that up if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's kind of cool. It's this guy who worked on uh, Yoda for Star Wars. Uh, retired and opened, opened a museum slash uh, strip shop thing. I don't. We just happen to be going the right place this time. I'll get off my butt so that I can actually do stuff here. This happened last time too. Get one champion in the mix, and all of a sudden. Everything's not working right. I am nowhere close to these bears. What the heck? I call not playing fair. I don't care how big of a bear you are, you shouldn't be swiping 50 feet away. Anyway, since this might be our last of the cruises, then we might go a little more spendy as we don't have the big expense of the cruise coming up. We'll see what happens. We try not to overdo it on vacation so that we can go next year. Yeah, that should be fun. And we get to see Arecibo this time, too. Which will be awesome. So we're looking forward to that. Got a few more people watching. Welcome, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying. Hope your morning's going well. We're just hanging out, doing some... Uh, Studio questing. Right now I'm just selling an epic I'm on the funnest server, so if you get the desire to join and play, feel free. I can also switch to a hero character if that would work better.
The Diamond Druid's riddle was that you must be a wolf, a fish, and a bear. <laughs> I didn't see the wisp this time. Good. The wisps seem random in these quests, or this quest in particular. Sometimes they'll be there and sometimes they won't. Usually they're the ones you have to kill to open the next doorway. That's Wayfinders at 4 o'clock. It's like 9.30 a.m. now. This is actually an unscheduled part of the uh, day. Mandrill. Um, I'm just, because I'm on vacation today, it's a holiday, I decided to fill some extra time in the schedule. So, yeah, Minion Monday on Wayfinder will be still be at 4 o'clock. with Queen. This is Simorgu. I'm just filling in some dead schedule time. In the depths of the pool, a tunnel is just barely visible. Perhaps this is what the riddle meant by be a fish. Looks like the title of the stream is correct. Minion Monday with Blue Queen at 4 o'clock. I know some people have to work today, so I figured if you had to work but had the opportunity to watch, it'd be good. I am not one of those asked to work. Uh, I have my ring swaps messed up. Yeah, I said it looks like it's correct, and I mentioned that you're the one who did it. Come on, bear traps, get the bear. Yep, got him. <laughs> That's hilarious. The bear traps actually work against the bears. It's good stuff. Here's where the wisp is. There's usually an extra wisp on heart I've found. There can be a wisp, but nope, he's not there this time. I'm still not sure exactly what. It seems like sometimes if something wanders over, then you can't open the wall, but sometimes it, you can. It's odd. Today. 
should have enough to take home. Same without having to rest or worry about anything. We'll go ahead and stone skin though. Yeah, I'm still yawning. Looks like I'll need the Dr. Pepper. I like this guy's voice. I like how he interrupts himself if you kill him fairly fast. Because his voice is so. or his manner of speaking is so paced, very deliberate. It's fun to interrupt that. There's the druid's chain. Let's see if I die this time on the. Don't drink the water. I have a slightly better weapon. I'm a level or two higher than I was last time I tried it and died. I know once I get. Uh, 27 regear, it's not a big deal at all to solo it, but trying to get it lower. Let's see, I think I'm low on War Wizards. Three times, three times, yeah. This is my seventh place. <laughs> you waiting for me, Titan? He's right up on top of the well there. Alright, let's get the initial stone skin. Do I need anything else? You're watching the stream from the inside. You were just there on top of the well that I'm now under. Ah, uh, it was just weird to see you there right where I was going to be. Why did that bear aggro? That's... My footsteps were very quiet. 
No, one of my footsteps were loud. How you doing, stretchy dog? He's so mellow and relaxed when it's just me here with him. When the SO's here, he's all excited. He has energy. That's a good speech to watch. Not one for speeches, but that one is good. To kill that tree, I already forget. There, dog. Hey, dog, what are you staring at? Yeah, you, what are you staring at? I know, puppy, I'm thirsty too. Let's see me get a drink after this. Two champions, huh? The dog is what the SPCA told us, a hound pit bull mix. That's what they told us. He's that, what they call brindle color. Actually, if you've seen that uh, dog emote on Twitch, he looks a lot like that dog. The dog face with the floppy ears out to the side. He looks a lot like that. 
We rescued him just over a, just under a year ago. Yeah, just about a year ago. So much damage. Oh, finally. Gives me a chance to go here. I need to get more potions. I want to get more potions. I was hoping that someone would take a little bit of aggro for me. It's really hard to fight a dragon when you're on your back all the time. I got pretty good balance, too. Just, uh, Doesn't really matter. Why well, I forgot to scream. <laughs> I'm facing a dragon, I forgot to scream. That's hilarious. Mommy! Yeah, I got him this time. Initially, he was, uh, Keeping ahead of me. But then he stopped. So I can kill him at 26. Ugh, stupid poison crap. Let me recall. Or Mel Sassadero. Oh, green dragon poison. Alright. Whichever. Yeah, that's cool. The problem we have with this dog is that uh, he has separation anxiety. So if we leave, he tears the house up. And that's just not fun to deal with. He got into the trash last time. Ripped the trash bag open. Stuff was everywhere. So if for that, he'd be pretty well perfect. He gets a little overexcited sometimes in separation anxiety, but otherwise he's learned to uh, fit in pretty well. He still hasn't learned that cats are sharp, though. He keeps trying to lose his eyes by uh, provoking the cats. That's not good. All right, I'm going to take a short break here. I'm going to get that Dr. Pepper going. And... Uh, Make sure the dog has some water and all that fun stuff. But we'll be back shortly. Thanks for watching. Stick with us.
Alright. Let's get my sign down. Let's see here. Uh, break. Good. Figured he was thirsty. He had a couple pieces of ice and then uh, some water. Just cracking up with the Dr. Pepper now. I've got a big cup of water, so I should be set for a little while. I did. Used to drink a Dr. Pepper every day. At least one. Sometimes more, but usually one. Alright, what's going on in the server? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Well. Um, in that case... Let's go do some more of the usual stuff. Let's see, at this point, almost to where two spies and two whiz kings would get me to level. I'm really close to that. I have to re-gear after that. For the moment, though, let's uh, put the correct gear back on. I did get the other belt from Necropolis the other day, so I now I have to figure out which combination of things works the best. Since it's going to be different than it was, I think, with that belt over the other one. I'm not sure I'm not going to deal with it until I'm 27 anyway. That only matters for one level. None of that looks like anything I need. And nothing going on still, so let's go over to house D and let's do black walk and tide turns. Guess I haven't done bargain of blood in a while. Could do that as well. Just for something different. Maybe on Tuesday's stream I'll try to do all EE and see how that goes. Why aren't you dead yet? There we go.
one of the few guys I can actually sling blow in here and he's like uh, saved from it. Isn't that some stuff? I think about dedicating Fridays to favor and farming. Trying to have theme days to mix it up a bit. Because I know I tend to do the same things every time. If I did something like that, it would force a mix up at least throughout the week. Titan, I did some favor farming on uh, Friday. Went pretty well. It was an odd quest. One of those in the 12 where you had to grab elemental souls. To... You're basically being Ghostbusters. You were trapping elemental souls and then putting them into a weapon. Remind me of Ghostbusters trap. Even though it just look like, looks like a control box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're running. Maybe another day I can focus on one of my hero characters. I'd like to have another epic character. Because at some point I want to start iconic tier or iconic, yeah, iconic tiering this character. Oops, that's right, I'm on this part. So, yeah. I think that's the basic plan, is to get the 12 epic past lives to unlock the twist slot. So I can run with the stuff I want to run. Not have to worry about choosing one or the other. So right now I'm choosing between Honor of the Reactions and uh, Dance of Flowers, I think. Although, it could be argued I could have switched that to the Purify Weapons instead. But running things like Devil's Salt, just handy to have that Purify Weapons thing going. Error name property missing. Oh, well, I can fix that. What? Yes, I'm trying to get to the sorcerer to take them out of the thing, but it's not working. And oh, ship lag. This quest and the ship lag.
Yeah, I don't know if you saw the acid blast trigger there, but it, it did. That was my augment. The meteor's a lot more obvious when it happens. There's the acid again. Should be about one in every 50 hits. I definitely think that's help putting in here. Because I'm really not having to worry about my health. And last time I was in here, I worried about my health a little bit more than that. Not a lot, but. I had to cocoon. I haven't had to in here this time. It's worth making sure all of the zombies are dead. Sometimes one gets stuck and doesn't come out of the cage. Like that. Didn't really want those, but I don't know why they do that. But it definitely does happen fairly often. Usually if you just walk in real quick, then they'll activate. Hi, kitten. How are you? The ship lag. The ship is definitely lagging. Ah. Uh. Well, I want to check something else. Here, when I get a chance. I need to manage my videos. I was in the video manager earlier. Why did I have a new tab in there? That's weird. Right. I'm messing around on their computer real quick, just. Cat, you're not dying. The older cats just uh, sitting downstairs. Mow, mow, mow. Like he's dying. I would like to sting you. I would like to trip you. There we go. Might need to stuck up on arrows. I've seen some arrows get destroyed here. Particularly if I'm going to do E tomorrow. I'll want a full stock of arrows to absorb some uh, item wear. What was I doing yesterday? Oh yeah, the uh, Thunderhome Slayers. And I uh, didn't unequip my brand new shiny Thunderforge Great Axe that I had just put augments in and we fought the rust monster and I kept getting the wear messages for the rest of the time. That was not fun. I already bound it so it's not like it really did anything but they're not fun messages to be getting all throughout a, a uh, slayer area.
So I went back and I did. Uh, can't remember if I used a stat out walking stick or the triple positive, but I grabbed one of those and did it instead. Oh yeah. These guys right behind the door. I figure out about them quite often. Get that shaman out of the way first. I often forget about him. He ends up being the last killed when he should be the first. Hey. Running. Thought you were a necromancer. You shouldn't fear death. Why are you running? What's the mushroom? Settles in here where I'm not getting pinged from all over creation by arrows. No, you don't want to do it that way? Alright. Fine, we'll do it your way. Do you get knocked in the water and you have to climb the ladder? That's hilarious. I thought he was right behind the other guy. Zombies in the water. I'm going to preemptively shield myself while I'm thinking about it. I often forget that. And I'm also going to remove fear while I'm at it. Being fear locked sucks as a melee. Completely whiffed on that trip. I thought he was uh, going to be coming closer. No, I think there's just the one. I definitely take it. It's one of my two monk feats because it's just that handy. on the quest, that's a lot of damage avoided. I only have two monk levels and they're at eight or nineteen and twenty, so I don't get it until late, but it's not a big deal since I'm not actually playing those levels anyway. Yeah, I don't have those boots yet. I finally got the three barrel cove boots. But at 27, I have. What is the Epic Ring of Unknown Origins or something like that? That gives me fear immunity. I've got something at 27 that does it. Previously, I had an augment at my level 28 hat. Worked pretty well. I don't know though, I mean, if I got the boots of the innocent, would I wear those over the three barrel code boots? Because freedom of movement is also nice to have on all the time. It's a tough choice. Please 
plus that, what is it, plus 11 to your tactical skills, which is also very awesome. I just haven't figured out what I do once I get all that stuff. I have most of it. Just the Boots of the Innocent and one other piece I think I'm missing from Necro. And that's not counting all the uh, raid stuff. I've done that raid a couple times and haven't pulled anything. Speaking of not pulling anything, pfft. what a bunch of junk. Yeah, those. I know they're only 24, but the freedom of movement alone is worth it. I don't swap those in now because my fortification is on my boots. So, uh, they're already too far in. I would have joined that spies otherwise. So I need the fortification more than I need the freedom of movement. That's why I was trying to swap around my level 20 gear a little bit. I just couldn't find anything that fit in the right slots. I need fortification and hit points. And uh, what else? Deadly and speed. Something else. I can't remember. I'm trying to shuffle around, but right now my gear works. It just doesn't leave me any way to swap to the boots, and I don't want to carry yet another something at 24. I'd like to just swap the boots out and be done with it. So if my boots had... I don't know. I had to figure it out. Yeah. Luckily, since I'm a strength build, I don't have to worry about that as much. Oh, hey, he's a... Uh, doing some damage. So I'm rarely, despite all the fact I have so much inventory space, it doesn't really matter. Let me pop my inventory here real quick. Oh, look, I haven't clicked my comms. Let's do that while I'm here. There we go. So I've got all the inventory back lat slots, but I'm you know, 20,000 pounds. I'm only 297 right now. So I got plenty of weight to go before it's a problem. And even when I'm carrying a bunch of tower shields, heavy armor is loot. It hasn't slowed me down. Of course, having a 39 strength helps with that. But yeah, my uh, bank bard, I definitely had to wear a strength item to... Uh, even move really. Sometimes get so bogged down. I guess I didn't shield. I'll find out real quick. Oh, you jerks. Oh, they got me trapped in this door handle. 
jerks. I took more damage than I should have there. I should have tripped or stunned him, but oh well. Not a big deal. I still need the anti great X epified. That'll save me three inventory slots on axes, I think. Alright, let me switch to the correct ring on the correct slot. I want the ring of feathers on this slot. There we go. I'm in epics, I switch my rings over so that I move slower, but I have better damage mitigation. when I'm doing this stuff, it doesn't really matter. It's only for Epic Elite, really. Rage, that sort of thing. Thunderhome Slayers. Oh, I almost futzed that up. Yeah, well, I'll actually get this this time. I skipped that a lot. Alright, let's see if this works. Nope, it did not. Uh, where'd that ring go? That ring needs to go in there. That's awesome. I haven't seen a Mythic, or I don't think I've seen a myth Mythic um, that's actually dropped for me. Um, I actually don't pay attention. I've, found, I've realized that I just look at the name of the item and not the Mythic part, Mythic or Epic part, and just say, oh yeah, I have that, or no, I don't have that, and pass it. I don't even stop to say, oh, that's Mythic. So I don't think I have. I'm sure somebody would have said something if I passed a Mythic. What? You passed a mythic? Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that, but so I don't think I have. But that little extra bit that they do is nice. I definitely would like some of the mythic stuff. Everybody sit down. I'm happy enough with the epics that I have. Such a huge power increase to equip that stuff. Just in time to sit down, booty. Oh, he's safe from my swing blow. I'm definitely taking advantage of the uh, trip while it's here. I know, I wasn't landing trips nearly as well. No, it doesn't. Me is a pretty standard command that. Uh, works in a very specific way. You put your name at the beginning of whatever you say. Now there um, there were variants I've seen 
where you could put your name in the middle of a sentence or do other weird things, but yeah. Generally just me uh, works that way. Back when we were playing text muds, we didn't have all these fancy graphics. Although I th still think the weirdest one I played was a uh, mech warrior. It was text-based, but you had to actually position yourself and rotate your torso and all the stuff you do in Mech Warrior. But it was all text-based. I didn't play that one very long, but it was definitely interesting because I had played pen and paper Mech Warrior. And uh, it was all into that a bit. So I was excited to play it, and then it was based on the clans, so you had to have a trial position to be accepted into the clan or whatever. I can't remember exactly the details of how it worked, but anyway, I was taking trial position, and the first dude got a lucky headshot and killed me. One shot. And everybody was like, oh, oops. That usually doesn't happen. But it did. So my character was dead. Technically, they're supposed to disable you. You're supposed to see how far you can get. Going against three top other players. Things happen. I played other months for a long time. I remember being in the computer lab in college and playing, I think it was 22 out of 24 hours a day, one day, in the computer lab playing. Didn't have a computer in my room. Had to go to the lab. I had 1010++ though, installed on my account. That was fun. The good old days. Things were much more primitive. Oh, just die too. Gotta kill you twice more anyway. Speaking of which, let me heal up before he starts attacking me. Come here, jerk face. Let's go ahead and try to get this over with. Pump up the skills, abilities. Does anybody else play uh, Kensai? I have a question about something. I'm not sure it's a bug or not. There he goes into his stupid orc mage disappearing act. Wrong mage, sorry. And he's back. Excuse me, I was trying to try and take a drink. Jerk. Yeah. 
Oh, I'll get to my question here after this quest is over. Let's see if anybody has any insight into it. Oh, just dies. Rusty. There we go. That's a good over Mitch. Ooh, heavy chain. That'll go straight to the vendor. Uh, blah blah blah. Not you, the person I'm actually facing. All right. So here's the question. If I look at my enhancements. And I look at, let's see, which one is it? Wasn't that one? Right here. Deadly Strike. Expend the use of an action boost. That's the key part I have a question about. All right. Deadly Strike says it expand use of an action boost. Power Surge is an action boost. Haste boost does not say it's an action boost. That's a meditate. That's a melee attack. Okay, so right here, Power Surge is an action boost, and Deadly Strike says expend use of an action boost. Oops. Character, there we go. Enhancement. That's right. So if I put Deadly Strike on here, you have insufficient charges. It says expend an action boost. Expend use of an action boost. I've got five uses of an action boost. Hey, Mary. So you're saying it needs attack boost, but it doesn't say that. Oh, action boost attack. I see what you're saying. Action boost attack. No. Uh, okay. Expensive use of action boost attack. That's, that's what I'm missing. So this is action boost nothing. This needs action boost attack, which I don't have. Okay. Got it. Hey, Marie. How are you this morning? Oh, hey, look. Stuff's up. There's a shroud up. I'm probably going to do that. It's one, three. I'm thinking about that for three more seconds. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to do that one, three. Afternoon here, work done in one day in a few seconds. Cool. Glad to hear it, Mary. Uh, so far, I'm, I've managed to almost wake up and um, grinding my way to 27, so pretty good so far. Oh.
I'm not sure if the caffeine in the Dr. Pepper is helping more than the sugar in the Dr. Pepper is not helping. My eyes still hurt. Oh. Remember to blink, remember to blink, remember to blink. Oh, there's no treasure bag missed. This seems to be a uh, pure Zerg run. Not stopping for nobody. Nope, there he is. Cool. And I have a text message. Good time. Oh, it was an email. Sorry. Pre order the Razer Nabu X. What is a Razer Nabu X? <laughs> oh, that's their uh, health tracker thing. Yeah, I've got a Fitbit. That's fine. I hate that email saying Twitch export to YouTube failed. I'll have to try that again later. Oh, my eyes are so sore. I didn't realize they were that bad yesterday. Until I looked in the mirror and like, oh god. I've been staring at the screen all day. And it shows. He's here. <laughs> I love one shotting those guys. Oh. Lost connection, that's fun. We're at normal, it's not a big deal. Actually, wait till he reconnects, there we go. Now he's reconnected, let's go and open this. Yeah, I used to watch the old Doctor Who. The SO has watched a lot of the new Doctor Who and enjoys it. I really haven't. When it's playing, I sometimes can't avoid it, but... Just, uh... Don't enjoy it as much as I used to. I don't know why. I don't really enjoy a lot of TV at all. I don't really watch TV and uh, watch a lot of Twitch, though. That's probably part of it. I so just finished watching How I Met Your Mother. We both have watch Criminal Minds off and on Netflix only. We don't have any TV uh, cable service or anything. Just internet. I used to watch a lot of anime. Um, some shows. Domestic shows. Uh, anymore. I just don't enjoy it.
You want me to get it? I'll get it. I've got decent saves. I haven't really sat and watched anime in a long time. I just, anymore, I want to be interacting. I don't want to just sit there like a lump. I think that's a big part of it. That's why I like Twitch. So even if I'm mostly watching, I can still interact with a person. Um, if it's just sitting and watching, I get restless and bored a lot. I do it sometimes just to spend time with the SO. Because um, that's a different kind of thing than just sitting watching a man. But yeah, I would watch, you know, marathons of entire anime series and stuff. I just don't do that. I kept some. Uh, I never got into Z. I like the original Dragon Ball. The original Dragon Ball was hilarious. I loved it. Dragon Ball Z with its eight episode fights and stuff just isn't as amusing to me. It's amusing in a different way, but I never really cared for it. If you watch nothing else, watch the first episode of the original Dragon Ball. It is hilarious. Oh, it's so funny. Fine, be out of reach, jerk. You do that. Flying trip. I liked all the Miyazaki stuff. Um, I think I've still got my Marmalade Boy DVDs. I never did get the Legend of Galactic Hero DVDs. I wanted to get those. Um, I really enjoyed Legend of Galactic Hero. What else did I watch a lot of? Uh, I was into One Piece for a while. Well, Evangelion was okay. I didn't think it was as good as a lot of people thought it was, but it was different. Oh, hey, some potions. So I keep forgetting to get them. No, Naruto, not at all. Did not understand that one either. And mind you, I watched Bobo Bo, Bo and thought that was really wacky and hilarious. If you've never seen Bobo Bo, Bo, you should watch Bobo Bo, Bo. Or whatever they renamed it. If they renamed it over here, I can't remember. Looks like somebody got it. Yeah, he's got it. No, I never got into Inuyasha. Watched a lot of Ranma. Um, what else? I can't even remember all the stuff we used to watch. City Hunter. Rurouni Kenshin. Although if you watch anything, watch just the second season of that. Do not watch the third season. Second season, then first season. And don't even worry about the third season. Yeah. Not seeing any of them. Nope, oh, there's one. 
locked in the funds reach spot. Oh, two of them are up here. So I'm gonna get the third one. I can't tell. I used to be a member of and then run the uh, anime club in college. And uh, actually that's how I met the people out here that I know um, and why I moved out here. It's because we used to see each other at anime cons all the time. Like, oh, hey, you're like right next door and next state over and stuff. Nope, somebody got it. I don't do that anymore either. The last convention I went to was Origins, which was fun, I must say. No, 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 not going to work. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to cheese it and do that. I'm treated enough to do this, usually. I'd like to go to Origins this year, but probably not going to happen. He's got those. A lot of the new anime I just didn't get into. I did like, um, oh, what was that called? Black Lagoon. That was good. I never got into Cowboy Bebop either. I saw um, memories in the theater in Tokyo. That was neat. Neat experience. Okay, I have done Primal Scream like three times, there he goes. Some XP for not much effort. I'll do Vaughn 4, that's fine. Oh. A lot of people like Kimigori Orange Road. I didn't ever get into that really. Watched some really bad stuff too. Man. Not all anime is good. That is for sure. I'd have to go look at my shelf to uh, remember what else was good enough that I actually kept DVDs because we did a big purge before we moved. We probably should purchase the rest because we haven't touched. I think the only thing we've 
touched his hog father and maybe one or two others in the whole time we've been here which has been a couple of years if it's not Netflix or uh, Twitch we're not really watching it it's just how it goes I am definitely within range of two spies and two whiz kings now. Oh, I still have, do. I still have that XP potion running. I think I do. Oh my goddess! I love that. That was good. I really enjoyed that show. Yep. Had a lot of fun with that. There's a bunch of stuff that I, is in the back of my mind I can't think of the titles of. I can see some characters or different pieces of it, but it, now we're going to destroy the elementals, or I guess we are. Well, I guess we did. Never mind. Uh, one friend of mine here has stacks and stacks of automated DVDs. Literally, he can't fit them in his bookshelf anymore, so they're stacked in front of the bookshelf now. And he keeps buying stuff. He actually, he replaces, he's replaced a lot of his... Uh, VHS with DVDs. He still had a lot of VHS. He decided, nah. Don't want to do VHS anymore. It takes up too much space. Let's do DVDs. So he's got huge stacks of them. I don't know why people don't do this, but I always find in Vaughn 4 the first thing you do on either side is go ahead and open up the middle. So much nicer to have that open in case something happens. People can get to the res shrine. If you're splitting up, then the other side can get through and all that. I got rid of mine. I had a Lasers player, and uh, I had quite a few laser discs. What's funny is I, I knew that I wasn't, I was getting out of them, and I wasn't going to be using them, so I sold them while I could still get a decent price for them. I can obviously, laser discs used to be so expensive. I never got full price back, but when I was in Japan, I bought some laser discs, um, so I had some imports and other stuff, and uh, I'm glad I got rid of them when I did. Because now people have a hard time giving them away in some cases. I sold my laser just player and laser just to friends here, I think. I can't remember if I sold them or I ended up just giving them. I think kind of both. Ah, deck. Still? All right. I'll 
presume we're all good on both sides then. I don't know how people don't do that. Don't realize you can drop down that gap. But yeah, I don't have a Legis player anymore. Um, storage. Entertainment center space. The reason I didn't do that. I remember when we uh, ran into Lasers player back when they were a new thing, and I think we watched Tron on it. It was awesome. Except for having to flip the stupid thing. Before they had the ones that automatically flipped. I think that Lasers player is now with somebody else. Um, somebody's son who got interested in dead media basically and we have plenty of dead media around let me tell you I have some really weird formats still I have like a video disc thing and other things from back when there weren't well, standards were different, I guess I should say, for some of the newer digital devices. I was in media production in college, so I uh, had a bunch of weird formats from that that we worked with. All kinds of weird digital camera formats. I have a uh, DAT, digital audio tape, and I have a uh, whatever the VHS or SVHS that you do audio with, I have one of those. I can't remember what they're called now. All that stuff. Do the puzzle. I don't know if this quarter is long enough for me to take a look at my shelf or not. Let me try that in a minute just for something different. It could be amusing to somebody. I used to keep catalogs of all the stuff I had. I had a big tote full of tapes for the anime club and all that. I never had high eight or super eight or beta. Never had any beta. Friends had beta. It wasn't one of the ones I had. I still have some VHSC tapes from my video camera that I used to have. Yay. Back to being centered. So many dead formats now. Or I should say outdated, they're not necessarily dead. People still use mini discs. And those mini CDs were popular in Japan for putting singles out. A friend of mine had those. Of course, he was in Japan for a while teaching English, so that's how he got some music back. So I initially need the jump, but I'll go ahead and throw it on just in case.
The radius on Greece is ridiculous sometimes. Nowhere close to it. Yeah, there's many CDs. Yep. He had a whole... Actually, he had several binders of them, I believe. Levitating treasure bag. How about that? Yeah, I still have some of my CDs from Japan that I got. I tell you what, shopping in Japan was awesome. Do to do no, I'm not gonna be that. Because I went to a bunch of used shops and they had uh, just. wild stuff used cheap because they were kind of over it like Ranma CDs were a dollar a piece so I, I don't know if I still have all of them but I had a bunch of Ranma CDs because they were a dollar a piece why not there were some character ones and there were some soundtrack ones and I was just like ah Ranma CDs I must have and I got some laser discs that weren't very cheap um, I think they were 10% off And what else did I get? Oh, I got some manga. That was all new, I think. I don't think I found the used manga shop at the time. I want to go back so badly. They keep talking about it around here, people. They're friends. But like I said, four kids makes it difficult to go overseas like that. Although, they're going to Paris, Disneyland here sometime. I don't know if they're all going or just some of them. If they go to Disney every year, that's their thing. I don't see the point in going to Disney every year, but I have a couple sets of friends that do that. But you know what? They're all day. Whatever they want to do on it. That's cool. Okay, I think you probably need to sell and repair. If I could at least look at my soundtrack CDs, I, that would get... Oh, Escaflone, there's one. Loved Escaflone. That was pretty close to being a D&D &D story. Given them the dragons involved and stuff. Um, I can't think of the other other uh, show. I can see some of the characters. I can remember character names, but I can't remember the show. I can even remember some of the words for the theme song, but I cannot remember the name of the show. All right. Let me park it here for a minute, see if I can get my cords entangled enough to get over near my shelf. Oh, yeah. That's really tangled. All right. Um, untangling the cords. Almost went for a cordless headset, but then I figured if I'm doing extended streams, there's a chance I could die, and that's not good. So I didn't do that. All right, I got some cord room, hopefully.
Um, as a manga die, which I never watched, Speed Grapher, which I haven't rewatched, Trinity Blood, which I never watched, Black Lagoon, and over to the Blu rays. Let's see, Appleseed. Ghost in the Shell. Loved Ghost in the Shell. Loved the... music and stuff in that, too. Uh, I'm not seeing too much else on that shelf. Ponyo is kind of new, so I don't really count that as part of my classic ones. Alright, let's look at the... There's Marmalade Boy soundtracks. Oh, Yoma. Yeah, Curse of the Undead Yoma. That was awesome. I got that soundtrack specifically just for that one song, the counting song. Uh, Mimio Sumaseba. Escaflone. Wichena Robin. Which is a newer one. Akira. There's Arama. Totoro. Fushigi Yugi, that's what it is. That's what I was trying to think of. Macross Plus, which again is an awesome soundtrack. Memories, which I said earlier I saw in the theater. What's that one? Oh, that's the Modern Age Nuki War Ponboko, which is another Miyazaki. And down here we have we got. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Pumpkin Scissors is newer. Trigun. Macross Plus, Black Lagoon. Coyote Ragtime Show, Ergo Proxy, Micros Plus, Gunslinger Girl, Mushishi was awesome. It's kind of newer. Uh, Vampire Hunter D, classic. Spirited Away, got a bunch of anime music videos. Hell Girl, Fujigi Yugi, uh, Rurouni Kenshin, Devil Hunter Yoko, Dirty Pair, which is fun, Ninja Scroll. And down to the bottom shelf. Oh, that's a long way down. Okay, Oseki B Century. Ixer 1. Phantom Quest Core. Ghost Sweeper Mikami. And Naushka, which is my favorite Miyazaki. That got me into anime. Grave of the Fireflies, which is really depressing. Cat Returns, Princess Mononoke, Neighbors of the Imanas, Ponpoko, Castle in the Sky, Laputa, Kiki's Delivery Service, Porco Rosso, House Moving Castle, My Neighbor Tortoro, and Harlock Saga, Galaxy Railways, AD Police, and Bokum Crisis. Let's see about it. That's a sampling of what I still have. Oh, got rid of my VHS a long time ago. Doom. I think Doom was the last id that I cared for. Once they went to Quake, I just did not like it. All right, what's next? I was happy to see uh, for AGDQ they were speed running uh, Commander Keen. Some of the later ones. Um, I played the first and second, I think, on the PC back in the day. Oh, it was interesting to see the later ones I didn't play. Alright, anything? Uh, Giant Hold. I don't like Giant Hold. So what else should I do here? Let's see. I did that, 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 that. I guess I can do Vaughn 1. That's easy enough to solo. Did I repair everything yet? I forget. Yep, I did. Let's go back out and do Vaughn 1 at least. 
and then we'll see maybe we can get a group for uh, spies and whiz king i think i'm off timer for those i need to check that too i could do bargain of blood which i don't usually do there's still some options for the daily xp bonus and again i'm on thalanus uh, if anybody wants to play join whatever oh i wanted to see if i was still running that uh Maybe done now. Maybe I've. Nope, there it is. I have an hour and 44 on this uh, XP potion. I was using that with the Slayers to boost my XP there in Thunder Home. Not crazy about soloing Vaughn 2, but Vaughn 1 EN should be easy enough. This looks like the underground highway to Faras Arena. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Knee sometimes bugs me. I gotta find a way to stand up and play if I'm going to be streaming more often. Laptop and coffee table doesn't really cut it. But I won't have a job for a while, so my work desk, my office can stand in since it's a standing desk anyway. Just switching might be problematic. That and this is fairly ideal for when the SO is sleeping. And still, uh... Alright, everybody die. Yeah, everybody die. Come on, guys. Everybody just die. There you go. never had an Amiga really played too much on Amiga. A friend had them, but I never really did much with it. The game I like on there is uh, Disc. It's basically Tron, Deadly Discs. Uh, yeah, I'm just, that's what I want. Speaking of games I really want to do again, I, I'm really upset that I passed on a uh, Tron Deadly Discs uh, environmental stand-up arcade machine. There was one that was fairly cheap that was, well at the time it was several hundred miles away, which is why I didn't get it, but it was so cheap. Wish I would have had it now. I have two, D, two DDR machines in my house. So, arcade machines aren't a big deal. I've owned uh, several others that I then sold. Because when you're living in a small apartment, they aren't really practical to keep around. I had a friend who has, uh, or have a friend who had, I don't remember if he still has it or not, an original Dragon Slayer. Uh, machine with a space ace conversion kit so we can swap back and forth between them. That was pretty neat. You notice words etched above this gate. He also had a uh, Xevious, which I think he sold off, and maybe one other, I can't remember. He might have gotten rid of all that, because again, those machines. He's been living in apartments for the past several years. Arcade machines are just too big. They take up too much space for most apartments. That said, 
I also wish I would have gotten a uh, Adams Family Pinball. That being the best pinball ever made. Arguably. Some people have other opinions, but they're wrong. Um, I could have gotten one of those fairly cheap at some time, and now they're two to three times as expensive. I still want one someday. There was a uh, one of the limited edition ones with the gold legs and everything, the certificate of authenticity and all that jazz that was in Germany, I think, that was unopened, still in box. It was like seven grand. So we're usually on that. Now it, that would be 20 plus probably, the way things have changed. Ah, I forgot fear. Hopefully these kobolds don't fear me. Anymore, if I go back and try to play Doom or Wolfenstein or any of those, I get motion sick horribly. Cannot handle those at all. Love that. Minotaurs rushed right into the comet or a meteor strike. You are being annoying. There we go. Flame strike me, I'll meteor you. How about that? Dog, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you. He's got the foot or tail of a toy in his mouth. He's rolling on his back on the couch. He's amusing. Axling is running five fire in Thunder Peaks. I think I just did that last night, so I'm gonna not do that today. I'm not all that eager to upgrade a item to max. This cord needs to stop doing this. What are you doing, cord? Stay out of my way. There we go, that's better. Anytime now, if you want to trigger a meteor strike or a acid blast, that'd be cool. Anytime now. Or, you know, not. Now is your chance to see the mighty axe. That's my chance to go get the other chest. Forget the axe. I want that chest. Oh, Cargame came to visit.
I guess I could have killed those other guys on the way down, I forgot. Oh well. No big deal. XP anyway. I would love to have something in where you can trade your seals and shards in for a different one. Surprised I'm not hungry, it's almost time for lunch. May have a little bit of a snack here. Wait till the SO gets home and figure out what we're doing for lunch. Probably just having sandwiches here. But we'll see. All right, so that, that. There's a don't drink the water. E. River. Fate. Lee, which is done. Foundation of Discord. No. All right. It's about time to see if I can get interested in Spies and Wiz King. Just verify that I'm off timer for all that. Do a little repairing and selling and I'll be ready. Oh, am I seriously forgetting my... F oh, I can't believe I did that. I ran a couple quests without my uh, Master's Gift on. Wow, that's ever been ever since uh, Don't Drink the Water, hasn't it? Oops. It's hardly worth even switching hats for, but I will. All right. No, I'm looking. That's. Uh, let's see. In an hour and a half, I can play Vault of Night, and in two hours, I can do Death Worm. So there's that. Tide Turns, Party Crashers, Devil Assault, Haywire, Therask, Druid's Curse, Thorn and Paw, Gateway, Jungle, Water, Overgrowth, Fire and Thunder Peak, Outbreak, Shroud, Blacklock. Good. I'm off timer for all that. It's my dog. Need some attention? Is that what you need? Need some attention? There you go, buddy. There you go. Yeah. Do -do -do. Um, I knew what I was going to do, and I forgot. That's right. House D. Let us go ahead and run Spies and then Wiz King. I'll put an LFM up here shortly. If anyone wants to join, hopefully a trapper will join. Because I must say, having a trapper is nice on this. I'm not particular about level range. Dog. What you want, buddy? Hi. Yeah, hi. What do you want? What you want? Yep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me get my cord out of your way. There you go. Don't want your butt in my cord. 
Uh oh. What was that? What was that audio? Hello, hello, hello. Nope, it wasn't audio. Hmm. This is still. I don't know what that was. I heard something disconnect, but I don't know what it was. It took you so long to get in here. Water elemental? Usually faster than that. Maybe I'll save the, this particular part of the stream as a tutorial video on how to do spies. I've seen lots of people who have problems with this. And it really is pretty easy. Hey, look. Got a rogue. Hey there, you're right there. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Oh, it did. Alright, I have got to fix this. I cannot continue to not have the right stuff on at the same time. I need to have... Where is the other ring? I need this ring and this ring on right now. I'm going to go ahead and splash jump. And because these guys sometimes spam magic missile at me, I'll do that too. So yeah, the first thing you need is jump across the bridge, jump on the boxes, and then jump across to this pipe, come over here, and turn the wheel twice. You want the wheel to be showing orange right there on the second from the right. Come back across the same pipe, watch for the air jets, and then jump here on this guy this uh, mesh here. So the boxes you're on are right there. You want to come up and around to this mesh. And then jump across to this pipe and catch this air jet. That's the hardest part right there, I think, as far as the confusion at first. It's really confusing to have to come up and around. It's a really a 3D quest like that. Now oh, look, it's coming. So then I usually come over here for these skeletons. Um, I just got a line of fire of all the archers. Helps save a little bit of hit points. And then you want to take all of the archers up here out. Every one of them. As you kill them, you should see... A, oh, all right, never mind. I got... Uh, don't do that. That's what you don't want to do. Get caught in that jet. Those lights above that door over there, that's all the skeleton archers right here. So in order to open that door, you need to kill all the skeleton archers. And that's good bonus XP to get that. If you save all the prisoners, you get an extra bit of XP. Um, which is worth it, and you can't do that without killing all the skeletons here to get the first one. So next thing you do is come over here, and you can take that other air jet. I think this one's better. Less tricky, or if you have wings or whatever, you can get over here. And this valve in the ceiling opens the portcullis on the mini bridge there to get you to that door. Which does two things for you. First is you want this valve right here to open that portcullis in the background there you just saw open to the left. The other you can run down the bridge and get the prisoner. One, two. And I like people to check where my people are. There are two people in House D, so they're almost here. There's one that's sharp shots, so we still need 
GD is it? No, GD is in. Dervard. That looks like everybody. We need it. So, so, Alright. Looks like we're good. So that gives you an XP bonus, and then depending on the class, you may want to do something here. I equip a stout out walking staff. Although Dervard is here, is disabling the trap, so it wasn't necessary. But there's a combination of grease, fire, and wind traps there. So you need freedom of movement to really efficiently get past that. You can do it without. I have done it before. It is a real pain. <laughs> do not recommend it. But uh, yeah, you can do that. Get up here. Do a primal scream to hit them all. Knock them down a little bit. And then just a matter of cleaving your way to, through the rest of them. If you're a trapper, obviously you want to take the time to do the traps. Um, it's a 30% XP bonus, which is substantial in this particular quest. A lot of people bypass the optional chest back here. I always at least get the breakables. Um, you can do it several ways. I do jumping this way to the right here into this one. Do kind of a U jump there and then jump over here. That pretty much guarantees I don't miss. And then jump up here, get the chest. If you have skills to unlock, feel free. Otherwise, uh, at least you get the breakables. The breakables give you an extra 10% XP if you get them all. So it's worth it. If you do open that secret door, always get that lever for people behind you, because so, otherwise those air jets are really annoying. You climb up the ladder and then you get air jetted. And uh, it's a really not fun thing to do some to somebody else. You have to kill uh, a couple of skeletons here, again, to light the gems over there. There you go. The gems are lit. Ah, I keep thinking it's on that. It's not. It's on eight, not four. Get this other prisoner here. And then the treasure chest. See how the air jets are this time. Sometimes I can get this, sometimes I can, well, I'll take it, see what happens. You can't actually get blown across that all the way to either side, or you can abundant step or whatever and get it that way. Um, you can't, if you're grouping, it's good. If you're soloing, it isn't. Let's put it that way. Soloing, you have to come back here, kill the necromancer, and hit the lever anyway. Grouping, somebody else can take care of that, and you can just. Uh, come from the back side basically and do a little bit ahead of time. These boxes here are easy to miss. Again, breakables give you that XP bonus, which is nice. Not required, but it is nice to get the extra XP. Why oh, I got zoomed in like that? He's over here. Kill the Necromancer. And then this lever here opens the portcullis to let you proceed on the other side. Without that, you can't progress. It's mid ladder, so there's no real way around it that I know of. If you do it that way, you miss the chest which may or may not matter. Considering I run this generally twice a day, I'm ransacked on that chest quite often, so it doesn't really matter if I miss one. It's actually probably better if I do. Stunning blows just not landing like it should. What you want, dog? If you need to go out, I need... I'm going to take you out after this run. It'll be a little bit. 
Hey, don't spit on me. What are you doing? What are you doing, dog? You crazy dog. What are you doing? So yeah, this is the other side of that leap. You have to get that, and then this. I usually try to go ahead and get the valve. But these guys are being annoying, they won't let me. Have to take them out first. And that plus the, port, the lever from the portcullis earlier lets you come up this ladder. Portcullis is like here, middle of the ladder. And those valves let you get in here, and also opens, I think, the roof, or no, this opens the roof over here, or turns the jet on, I don't remember which. Anyway, now there's the jet, so you can get up. There's a trap over here, if you have a trap where they can disable it, again, for extra XP. This is the most rubber bandy jump in the game that is really annoying. It's not a hard jump, it's just you can't tell where you are because it either goes fast or slow, and uh, there you go. That's the trickiest part of the whole thing, I think. It's just making that jump, finally. Once you get it, it's not bad to take it. All of them, they did well. That's cool. If you have range, it's easier to get the elementals. I tend to like coming over here and drawing them over here. If they get close enough on the right side here, the arrow just actually blew them right to you. You can also go ahead and whip out your range and see what happens. Hopefully we'll get... Yep, see how it blew it right to me? That's why I like staying over here. Much easier to melee them on this character. Uh, come on, air. You're supposed to be blowing... There we go. Of course, if you get on the air, then you're blown probably back on the electrical floor, which isn't fun. On harder difficulties, this can be a challenge. Catch this up. Occasionally, you can get all the way up there. But probably you land there. Um, go ahead and go. Any cold absorber protection resist is good. So those boxes and these boxes here are the ones that are out of the way of the direct path, generally, that you take. But as you can see, it really doesn't take long to get them. I uh, usually let other people clean up the other side if they're there. Otherwise, I don't bother with them if I'm soloing. I just get through it. If you're weaker, you might want to do the animated armors two at a time. Otherwise, I just tend to get them all together and just cleave them. It doesn't take too much to get them all down. Turn one of those levers, it's the wrong one, you'll get electrocuted. If it's the right one, that thing will close and you can get across, or you can abundant step or whatever if you have that.
And then the couple breakables here. And then the last thing you do, I like to oops, run ahead because you want these boxes. If you're on the edge of the wall, you can get the boxes. Oh, come on. There we go. And that'll give you your 10% vandal bonus if you get them. So we have that, we have that, we're ready to go. 86 plus the prisoners, it's good XP for the 15 minutes, 40 seconds it took. I forget to do is edit my LFM. Oh, everybody's in here. That's right. We're full, so I don't have to worry about editing my LFM. Unless somebody drops. Which sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It just depends. I don't mind either way. As long as the rogue stays. <laughs> There's four of us out. That looks to be everybody. Yep. And always, always, always take your feather fall off. Oh, yep. I'll just do it this way. It's annoying. It's not gonna matter here. A little bit anyway, because uh, I'll be using a completely different gear set. I definitely want to keep my speed and Featherfall rings on for this quest. What do you want, dog? What? I see you. I do see you. You exist. You're right here. You're in the chair next to me. Yeah, buddy. What do you want? Are you just bored? Nothing going on. You're bored. Sorry, buddy. I got stuff going on. I'll take a break to take you out in a little bit. After Whisking. After the second Whisking, I should say. Just get comfortable. Relax. It's cool. It's cool, puppy. So again, yeah, until you get the hang of those jumps or until you have a high enough jump, like if you're a cleric or something that doesn't have a good jump, those can be difficult. I still occasionally miss them. What's really funny is if you get uh, hamstrung or something while you're trying to do that, then you get uh, problems. Come on, Skellies. Over here, buddies. That's good, dog. Chew on that bone. He's got remnants of toys all over the floor. To clean that crap up. Crippling hit, that's what it is. If you get crippling hit when you're in the mid-air mid there and you slow way down, it's funny. It can cause you some issues. You're a band, you're not sure where you end up. Why are you doing that part? So then that portcullis to the bridge is open. All the skeletons are killed. So we need to run there and do that. We've got that done. 
so this time you actually get to see everything. Yep, that I bypassed. Another level when I have farm on it doesn't matter, but I keep that uh, level twenty. What should we call it? Whoa! Hey, yep. I keep that. Uh, staff on just for that purpose, just so I have freedom movement on command for that. Basically for this quest since I run it so often. Normally it would, wouldn't work very well because I wouldn't want to switch weapons in a battle, but for that particular use it's not a big deal. It's easy enough to swap back to get the uh, Thingies. And again, I always go for this chest just to smash those, if nothing else. Um, if nobody with rogue levels or RDs wants to uh, do that, that's fine. Looks like we're going pretty quickly now that everybody's in sync. Dog, hold on. I'll get back, get you in a little bit. Actually, might pike whizking a bit. And I completely missed the air jet. That's awesome. I see you. Sit down. Sit. Dog, sit. Sit. I will take you out. Yes, I see you. I understand you need to go out. I understand that. Yes, I do. Can you please wait? Can you please wait just a little bit? Oh, I know, baby. I just took you out a couple hours ago, though. You really gotta go that bad? If you do, that's fine. I'll, I'll take you out. Good boy. Good boy. That's what I want. Alright, as soon as I'm out of this quest, I will take you out. Is that okay? Good boy. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm saying you're a good boy. Just laying down on the right door like you're supposed to. That's a good way to signal you need to go out. I prefer that to say, uh, peeing on something else. Everything else here done? Oh, I'm gonna get the treasure bag. Just a minute, buddy. We're almost to the end-ish. Oh, I uh, fell off there. Not like I wanted to. Oh, really? I'm stuck under this, stupid. Alright. Just be patient. Wait. Be good and wait. I will take you out. I will. Probably because all the water you drank earlier. Nope, I, I made it. Didn't think I did. I like running with the same people site twice in a row. Cause you sort of get the a feeling for who does what. So I knew that all the vowels were going to get done. Come on, move. There we go. Awesome. Am I not in the air? What the hell? Help. Help. 
What the help? Come up and die, elementals. Or methods. Elementals, whatever. All of you. Methods and elementals. I'm not particularly. You all can die. If you're going to be so good, I might actually go to Wiz King and step in before I... I don't really care about the Wiz King loot, it's more the experience. So that should take me over. 27, if not the first one, the second one. It should definitely do it. Uh, and uh, and switch to that. That should show ten percent. Yep. And yeah, we're good. Dog, dog, dog. Voices. Just a minute. Just a minute. Show off some teleporting places. I can't teleport, Harley. Isn't that suck? I can't teleport. I know. I know, man. Me too. Dog, you wait. Good boy. Well, either, either he was a clever piker or he really did have something happen. And he still got the XP, so it's good all around. I should change the elephant. Well, I know it's by my own choices or group, so if we uh, fight, walk the dog, then I'm going to miss out on XP, basically. I know that. Which is why I want to go ahead and hop over to the quest. Uh, there it is. And I'm not going to need Feather Fall, so I need to arrange my rings as well. I want my speed and my uh, Ring of Shadows on at the same time. Should be able to do that on the way. Inventory management. Let's see. Ring of shadows should be here. There. And then it's not going to matter. I don't think I have a phylactery in my inventory currently. I'll go ahead and do the LFM. Hey, I got a Slayer. A whole 143 XP. That's going to help a lot, isn't it, Harley? Isn't it, dog? Yeah, that's going to help a lot. Everybody's going AFK. Structure houses the tomb of the 
good king. I figure if they're in the desert, then it's fine to wait for them because they're going to be too much longer. New game bundle out. So I have the LFM up, right? You're going to be a good boy, dog. Dog out for a walk. on power three.
and turn the mic back on. <laughs> Forgot about that. Sorry to those people that I didn't uh, accept since I was AFK. But the dog went outside and peed on my boxes and stuff, and hopefully he's better now, though he's watching. He may be waiting for the SO to get home. You had a quick walk. We'll take a long one later, okay? Oh, good. We won lottery. We didn't get right. Ryum. Yeah, we know we really need to get them grind down again. Haven't been able to do that. The SO is working every day for the next, I don't know, whenever next Thursday is, is the last day for it, I think. Started yesterday, so that's 10, 12, 10, 12 days, something like that. I don't remember. But anyway, it's a long stretch of working constantly. Yeah, I'll take some help in Power 3. There's my level. Jin, and then the one boss. Somebody found Ryum. Ryum, Ryum. What are you doing? What trouble were you getting into, dog? Lay down. Lay down. 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 Lay down. Thank you. Is that so hard? I love hardwood floors, but yeah, the uh, dog nails are loud on them. There's last Jin, Genie, Jin, Freedy, however you want to call it.
so many people try to trigger the factory right there and you have to wait for the other boss. You don't want to trigger it after the gin. You want to see Ryum, Hafez, and Hami down there. Or Hami, or however you say it. You want to see all three of those names before you do the factory. Bess was asking about lunch. I thought geez, that might happen. One, two, three, four of us are out. Five of us are out. And we're back in. Everybody's ready to go. Awesome. <laughs> and there's the SO popping into the stream to ask what's for lunch there. I answer you in text. I'm open to ideas. So hello everybody, if you haven't seen Firefly, that's my significant other. Been streaming mostly Isaac and uh, Don't Starve from the PS4. Also plays DDO. doesn't stream it because we really well I guess we could have the machine release and set up ideally for it so I'm just finishing up this whiz king and then I'll be open to lunch or whatever. Um, now, did you want to stop and get some on the way home or? Looks like two people in tower one already, so I'll go to tower two. Sandwiches. Not as much leftovers, but sandwiches. Oh, I went the wrong way. Uh, okay, are you getting uh, money at Best Buy then? Why am I so slow? Harried? Probably harried. This is a couple guys following me. Stop and take care of this wizard. Yeah, no kidding. Bacon there seems to be a bit much. Oh, I fell through. That's okay. At least I showed where the uh, thing was for the guy behind me. 
or person, I should say. I'm sure it's a guy. Oh yeah, acid blast went off on that. Yep, that's what I figured. Looks like it's open now. Don't open yet. Nope. I guess I haven't said that yet. Uh, Fly and I both appreciate if you go to our channels and follow us as well as following the DDO stream that we're on currently. And it looks like Dog lost a bone under the coffee table again. So I'll have to make an adjustment here shortly to accommodate that. I might pick up. No, I'm not going to worry about it. I was thinking about getting Arena Giants, but I have not played enough Don't Starve to make Arena Giants worthwhile. I'm not even sure I'm going to hit my Vita on vacation yet. What, dog? I just took you out. Like, 15 minutes ago. You're going to want Fly to take you out anyway. That's how that works. Fly gets home. You're all, take me out, take me out, take me out, aren't you? That's you. And it's Hamey. Yay, we won the lottery both times. Well, yeah, that too. He's just standing here, just staring at me. Like right next to the coffee table. He's just so, uh, dude, you need to move. I need to get my phone. And somebody needs to come home. There you go. Get it. What? How many bones you got under there, dude? Take it and move it, dog. Come on. Well? Move this over there. Now go get it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, go, go, go. He almost took my mouse off my lap. All right. Wow, that was exciting. There's the adventure completion, so we're all good. Yep. He had the big one and then one of the brown ones. I'm not sure how many of those he has live currently, but... Alright, time for a thanks all. And get the heck out of here. Go take my level and re-gear. Oh, that's a neat outfit. Um, what I'm guessing is circus. Let's see if they pop in here. Yep. Oh, you can't. that's an odd mesh of two characters. Oh, that makes me motion sick. I like that red with the uh, fur on top. That's kind of neat. So if you hear another voice in the background during any of my streams, it's probably Fly.
cursing at the game in many cases. I usually try to mute myself when I do that, but I don't always catch it when she does it. Okay. Turn in the stuff. Yeah, I saw that the other day. Somebody commented about that. I guess to a certain extent that's true. Ship lag, ship lag, love the ship lag. There we go. Uh, now we can help figure out gear. Actually, let me go take care of this uh, mummy's curse first. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted. Ailments. Wait for the timer to reset. Viola. Get rid of this stuff and figure out... Oh, I have to actually take the level. Duh. Sometimes I forget things. I'll have to take the level first. Bless you, dog. Did you really just toss that over the back of the couch? Did you really just do that? <laughs> dog, what the heck, man? Well, go get it. Don't look at me. You're the one who tossed it back there. You get it. Go get it. It's around back. You tossed it over the couch. That means it's around back. Stop staring at me. Be home in a bit. Not time for being home yet. Oops, did I have anything left? Oh yeah, I need to trash that. What is oh Richard's Wrath? Just get rid of that. I mean he is a wizard, right? So that was a weird dog you doesn't do. He actually tossed it over whatever it was he had over the back of the couch. I'm not even sure what it was. I just heard it hit the blinds and then fall to the floor. All right, so four feet. Epic damage reduction for 10 PRR. No, 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 no. Don't have enough for that. Watchful Eye, don't have a thing for that. It's really no good choices. I want, like, Epic Toughness, but I didn't take Toughness before. Epic Mental Toughness, but I didn't take Improved Mental Toughness, so I can't get that. Flying speed doesn't make a lot of sense because I'm going to have those uh, bracers on. Actually, let me check those. Where is my gear? Here it is. So I get 30% movement speed and 14% melee speed versus 32 and 15 for blinding speed. It's about the same thing. It's really about the same thing. And I'm going to keep those equipped all the time unless I don't need feather falling. So it doesn't really make sense to me to take blinding speed if I've got these and I'm going to be wearing these. I get 
plus two movement speed, two percent movement speed, and plus one melee speed. And that's just not enough. I don't think to worry, to worry about. So I think I have a damage reduction. I am never in a defensive stance, so bulwark defense doesn't do me any good. The plus two seems to be a waste, but ten PRR is worth it. So I'll take the PRR. And I want to go away from the water fountain before I start equipping. Oh, that's better. I know, you know, the environmental stuff sound is immersive, but man, is it annoying. All right. So my choices for belt are thoughtful remembrance and court of reprisals. So obviously, Thoughtful Remembrance is my new belt. That looks really good. So let's compare them. I get Death Block, Constitution, Concentration, Resistance, Dodge, and Regeneration. <sighs> Versus, really, well, okay, Roar and Soundproof are the two things that I get. I guess the Sonic Spell Power helps with my uh, Primal Scream. The Charisma doesn't really help me. The Sheltering is nice, but I think I have Sheltering on something else. So I don't think there's a choice there. Yeah, I've got Sheltering on my Minos Leggings, which I'm going to wear. So then Glimpse of the Soul gives me Intercession Ward and Wisdom, which are both good. Bluff and Diplomacy I don't really care about as much. The saves are nice, just as extras. And then for Rings, we've got the Epic Eye of the Beholder, which helps Death Block I already have now, Intelligence and Wizardry help. And then the spell save. And then I've got Unknown Origins, which gives me the Whirlwind Ward, Immunity, Fear, and Blindness. And then the saves. Epic. I don't have uh, any Mythics. And then for Gloves, I'm going to take the Iron Mitts because that's uh, Strength, Vitality, and Healing Amp is the most important thing there. And then for Cloak, I've got the Cloak of Ice, which I really have for the Freezing Ice. That's the only thing I really have this for. I could use a different Cloak. For Armor, I've got the Death's Rampart, which gives me all the elemental resistances. And then the set bonus of Unbreakable Atomacy. So there's that. Yes, it destroys my centering, but at this point, who cares? And then I've got the Orcish Privateer's Boots, which I really have for the fire resistance. I mean, sorry, freedom of movement, blah, blah, blah. not fire resistance, freedom of movement. That's the big thing with those. So is that everything? No, oh, let me switch my helmets again. Oh, I did that, didn't I? Grr, okay, switch back to that, and then switch back to that. There we go. Alright, let's put this stuff on a bar so I know what I have equipped. I don't need that, I don't need that. Oops, the soul. Just to check it all. Uh, I'll check in a second there, Titan. Let me finish putting all this junk on the bar. Two rings, the boots, and the gloves I already have there, and the trinket I already have there. All right. So my PR goes to 117, 
which is a 53.92% damage reduction, and my MRR is 74, which is a 42.53 reduction. Plus I've got the 77 fire resistance, and then 55s for electricity, ice, acid, 45 for sonic. So it's a huge, huge jump in survivability when I get to 27 and equip all this stuff. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Let's see. So glimpse of the soul, Minos, solar flame. The reason I keep the uh, solar flame talisman is not only the death block and the negative energy absorption, but the protection from evil, which helps against uh, command and such. And then, of course, my spyglass, which has the master's gift on it. as well as everything else. Cloak of Ice, Thoughtful Remembrance, which, what is my dodge at now? Oh, it's only six, because I don't have dodge cap. That's, that's one bad thing about wearing the actual Death Ram part is my dodge is capped, so the dodge from Thoughtful Remembrance doesn't help as much. I have Beholder, Iron Mitts, just still have a slot in. Privateer's Boots for the Frigid Movement, Known Origins for the Immunities, and Brace of the Sun Soul. Why do I have Brace of the Sun Soul on? I thought I equipped the. What the heck? Equip. There we go. So you put the Ethereal Braces back over there. Glad I checked that. That would have been fun. All right, so the Ethereal Bracers are on, which give me Ghostly. So I don't have Blur. That's one thing I'm still missing on this gear set is Blur. So maybe my next green still should be a uh, Displacement Clicky or something. I could swap Blur in somewhere. Anyway. So there's my stats after the pluses from the gear. That's why I'm not sure about the boots. I mean, I like the boots, the uh, boots of the innocent, but uh, I kind of like the freedom of movement from the Orc Orcish privateer boots as well. So for now, that's what I've got. Orchard Slayers, interesting. Giant Home Eve, on Three Spies, Whiz King, Lod. I guess I could go for that. Uh, nah. I won't do that at the moment. A bunch of EE stuff is up, so. Now I am not really sure what to do. Um, now that I made 27, got my gear on. That looks weird. I keep thinking I'm missing something in this bar slot over here. Uh, let's see. I guess I could do Bargain of Blood or... Actually, you know what? There we go. Let's try that. Isn't Bargain of Blood supposed to be the easiest EE to solo? Let me go stack up some potions, maybe. And try that. Um, I need to fill up on potions anyway. Oh, I forgot a teleporter, not. Uh, I mean, I went guild ship, not teleporter. That's what I meant to say. So, yeah, if anybody has any suggestions on gear, I think I've got the best I can get with what I have, but. I'm open to uh, other suggestions, except if it involves farming or raids, really. <laughs> so I don't see myself getting a lot of the that stuff anytime soon. Let's stock up on some Cure Serious Wounds. I should go get some Silver Flame, because I don't have any of those at the moment, either. Discount those...
binds to character and acquire these don't stack with these, do they? You know what? I don't even want those in here then. I'll just use these. Throw these back here somewhere. There we go. I mean, I want the Quiver of Alacrity for level 20, and I want the Antique Great Axe Epified for level 20, but as far as level 27, I think I've got the best available with all the items that I have at the moment, so I'm not really interested in... It's always weird to get used to Featherfall being on all the time once I hit 27. So used to it not being there. I should have more hit points now, too. Yeah, I have almost 900 now. Um, I want to go right here, don't I? Bender, that's right. So I hate these potions, but they are a good emergency item to have. Let's do a couple. Oh, guess who's home? Fly is home. Wow, that's expensive. Even with my discount, that's expensive. Oh, that's right, they don't stack. <laughs> I should have only got 10. Oh, well, it's not like I'm hurting for uh, space. Let's put those up there for the moment. And dog knows who's home. He's over there right now. So I was going to go to Bargain of Blood. Searing Heights is over here somewhere, isn't it? Where is it? 12. Try and hold. I thought it was the one that was up here. I can't read a map. That tier of those, I don't understand Titan. You mean the uh, Silver Flame Potions? They're good if you really need them, because it's 250 hit points, but uh, yeah, the slowed 50% and negative penalty to all saves and ability scores, except Constitution, sucks. My charisma is now above 10, so it's not as bad as it used to be, but I used to be instant uh, helpless when I did that. Oh, um... <laughs> you can hear the dog dancing, can't you? Hey, watch that tail. That's a weapon right there. I don't remember what tier they are. They might be the top tier of Silver Flame. But uh, they're very useful to have as an option. Um, the healing part is really nice. The effects, eh, not so much. Three ten dollar PlayStation cards and three ten dollar Nintendo cards. Cool. Productive shopping trip there. Okay, let's us <laughs> I forgot to check if I was even in the right part of the quest. That's awesome. Get out of here. That There'll be a slight delay while I go and retake the stupid quest that I forgot to retake. I forget who gives you the uh, Bargain Bazaar. Bargain of Blood. Whatever. Let's see. House D should be straight up. Yep. We need an egg hunt or something so I can re-familiarize re myself with the marketplace ins and outs. Uh, 
Uh, it's one of these people up here, isn't it? Let's look. Lily Dineth. Lily Dineth. Yep. You know how many times I walk past that person every day? <laughs> Going to spies and stuff. And uh, I hardly ever run Bargain of Blood, though. That's the reason. It's not one of the things I run a lot. And you know, some of these people are bugged where they look like you can do something even though you can't wait a minute. Nah. Never gonna happen. Alright, power gonna pull it. Now let's repeat that walk in the opposite direction. Uh, why am I going this way? Marketplace is that way. Because house D square looks all the same, that's why. You can just hear how excited he is, can't you? <laughs> He's hopping around. Everything. Alright, so we're going down... This is the entrance. Searing Heights is there. That's it. That's why I'm, I was looking for a... Th different symbol and it wasn't that symbol. Charging your Vetus, you'll have it. Can you do that thing where you download it to the PlayStation and then transfer it that way? Oh. Gotta manage your memory card first. It's not too big, is it? It's only like half a gig. It's only like half a gig, is it? Yes, I did give the rat his medicine this morning. Hi, Cap. How you doing? Oh, all right, let's try this run again and actually get into the thing and see how this goes. I might need help. I'm going to try to solo it. I've never tried that before. I don't think I've ever done it on hard even. I have done it on Elite with a group at a lower level and got my butt kicked. So I don't know how this is going to go at all. But because it's something different than what I normally do on stream, I hope it'll be interesting to watch. Watch me fail. Or succeed and I'll be surprised. We can all be surprised together. Hi, Richard the Rat. How you doing? Okay, let's try this. Oh, buzz off, guys. I'm trying to do something. I am definitely going to put stone skin on. And I probably should go ahead and put remove fear and shield. And what the heck, I'll take somebody else to do some damage for me or distract people from doing damage to me. Oh, good, I got the beholder. Even better. He won't. Survive long, but he will help uh, take these guys down a notch. Will you please hit that? Thank you. Uh, 
Oh, hey, look at all those guys. Don't go near those other guys. I don't want to trigger those yet. I don't even remember my way to this stupid end of this quest. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Those aren't activated yet. He is. No, I'm... Yeah, the holder's almost dead. And there he goes. That didn't work. No, nope, he's still alive. I thought he was dead. Wow. Hey, Blackstorm. So this is where I'm just going to pop a heal one of them and just get healed all back up at once. <laughs> Mess. There it goes. to heal. There he goes. That's him done. He retreated where I can't hit him and he can't hit me. Well, I'll take it. Except now that I'm hard targeted on him, there we go. I need to get up there, don't I? Pretty sure that's where I need to go. That's what I want to happen. Ouch. There's a lever here I want you to hit. Why are you difficult. Now if I understand it right, you can hop over here and avoid a little bit of stuff. That's right, I have furies to use. I keep forgetting to use my furies. That would help. Do I even need to go this way? I don't even know. Oh, hey, look at that. That'll be fun to deal with in a minute. Where did he go? I turned around. 
He does not want to go down. No, thank you. Alright. Let's take care of this guy. I'll have to look that up here in a minute. Once you get operational. See, so yeah, not knowing the quest is kind of a drag here because I don't remember. Is that the end over there? Do I need to go up that way? Either way, there's champions to deal with. And they see me, so. Holy crap! I need to keep that guy on his butt when possible. Wow. Hello, Silver Flame Pot. I need you right away. Yeah, he is doing a ton of damage to me. Okay, well, I didn't do too bad, I don't think, until that point. Let's see, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to need help. And a better roll on champions. That guy seemed to have the damage buff. He was doing like 400 to swing. Dreaming dark. That reminds me, I need to do more favor runs. Oh, and you know what? I didn't have the right cloak on. That might have helped too. I could have froze some guys. Oh well. Not a big deal. Might take a short break for lunch here. Um, have some sandwiches and spend a little bit of time with Fly at least. I said working like eight hours a day for the next however many days. So, did I, I didn't get anything because I died there. There's nothing really going on that I care to do. So yeah, let me take a short lunch break. Say hi the SO and all that stuff, and then we'll be back. So stay tuned. Won't be too long, but uh, taking a short break. See you in a few.
All right, sandwich is fixed. We're settling down here. Oh. I'll mute while I'm actually taking bites of stuff, but we are sort of back. Looks like we might be watching my Mender and Don't Starve on the PS4. Arg. Let me take the brake sign off. Looks like Gildy is eating dinner. Moment. Wow. So, Epic Elite Demon Web or Epic Elite Giant Hole, neither which I want to do. I may go to Three Broke Cove instead. That might be something to do. Three Bevel Cove, if the Far Shifter work. Inspiration. While I'm sitting here and eating, I'll go ahead and put the stream schedule up. Note, we had a Titan on Thelonis yesterday. Um, special guest, Bonnie, for uh, shroud flagging and a couple shroud runs. Also, I know some people from viewers watching the stream were on there as well. Um, today, normal time, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, is Minion Monday with Queen. They're on Wayfinder. Again, me right now is uh, unscheduled. Uh, just because today was a holiday and I was off, I figured I'd go ahead and stream a bit. My normal day is Tuesdays, so you'll see me tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern on Thelonis doing whatever. Damsels on Wednesday every other week on Argo at 2 a.m. I think this is an off week. I think they're back next week. I seem to remember they were on last week, so should be off this week. And then the normal weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream at noon, Cordovan. Server varies. He takes a tour. And then the fling after that on Argo. We have a static group going. You can see everybody there. Shatterpalooza on Saturdays with Bonnie. This week, this coming week, is going to be on Talanis. So if you're not flagged for Shroud, you might want to get flagged for Shroud and Join. I know I'm going to join at least a couple, a run or two there. Um, I've heard some of the people have been rolling iconics and trying to get them flagged, so should be fun. And then Friday, yeah, I didn't fix that Titan. I still got. Oh well. 
Friday at noon's Titan is on Thelonis, and he streams quite a bit there. Oh, Rizzy Ice Games comes on Thursday? That's cool. And you said for the Wednesday lunchtime stream he's going to be on Wayfinder? That's good. Good to know. And then Saturday evening, uh, Raid Night with Queen on Caneth. Or Caneth, however you say it. Yeah, I know. I need to do that. I'm not going to do it right now, but I will do that at some point. Get that all fixed. So... There's the normal schedule. Um, personally, there's me. You can find me other places. My own Twitch channel, uh, YouTube, my site, and then I also put my Steam ID on here. In case you want to look at my achievements, which, by the way, I finished Mark of the Ninja achievements yesterday, finally. Uh, I need to go back and work on my leaderboard scores because some of them are way low. I need to go back and do that, but at least the achievements are done. And I have something like 13, 1400 games on there. So there's that as well. All right. Back to DDO and lunch at the same time. And I am watching chat, so if you have anything you want to ask or mention or just say hi, please feel free. Had a bit of surprise there with my soda. I uh, get these uh, Meyer Crystal Quenchers, which Meyer's a local superstore. They're actually regional. I shouldn't say local. They're regional, um, but they're you know, zero calories, zero everything, zero caffeine, zero sugar kind of drink. I picked up a big one yesterday when I went to the store. And it's the same color as a different flavor. I usually get the black cherry. But I got a mango passion fruit. They're the same flavor, and that's, I mean, they're the same colors on the bottle. And wow, that's a different flavor than I was expecting. Black cherry is not the same as mango passion fruit at all. Whew. What is the cat getting into? Oh, I know what he's getting into. He's getting into the lunch meat container, isn't he? Yep, that's what I figured. <clears throat> uh, what do I want to do? Pretty worth. A pirate airship has been spotted above three barrel coal. Weaker creatures run for cover. Not sure what you mean, Blackstrom. Do you seriously get right back up there? Oh good, I can take care of this the fun way. Having to uh, use the ballista as a drag when you can just run in and bring the ship down this way. Much more fun. Yeah, Shredder Palooza should be Bonnie too on Saturday, unless I said something wrong. Or have my slides wrong, I don't know. As far as I know, it's the same time, different server. Oh, 
airship shudders and begins to fall. Everybody out. Airship's going down. Yes, you cat, you're getting in trouble. Oh, another red name too. Awesome. This is a good run. Well, there goes one airship. Leave it. Dog. Back off. It's not your food, buddy. Junk. Oh, hi. Plus four, plus three to four upgrade constitution dome. Awesome. And a legendary victory. That was a good chest. That was worth it. I will take that. What? Um, something just jiggled the power. Okay. We're, we're back on AC, so I think we're good. But... <laughs> New Bacabra. Nice. That's a neat handle. Yeah, unfortunately, I think on this character I already have a 3 to 4, so I'm going to pass it on to my other characters, but it's still... Dog, leave it. One of the best things I could get for uh, tomes at this point, if we're talking plus 4s. I think I'll pass it over to my static group character. My monk. Yeah. You can always use more con. Con or Int are generally useful for most characters. A small building stands curiously alone in the so we're trying these, uh, what are they? Cranberry and Sage? Triscuits? Yeah. They're limited edition Triscuits that I found in the store the other day. So we're going to try those and see how they are. Okay, so <clears throat> the Sage and Cranberry Triscuits are really powerful flavored. Wow. They're not bad. They're a bit strong, though. Whew. Man. All right. I keep forgetting to meet when taking a drink. Sorry, guys. <laughs> PR wins. Oh, I forgot to. Oh, I'm actually just trying here at some point. I forgot I uh, didn't rest after that fail. Bargain of Bloody. Yeah, it's just plat. Not worth worrying about. Yeah. 
I can actually run this in hard and get uh, fragments to drop. But I probably wouldn't survive it solo. Definitely need a trap around here. For anything above normal. Excuse me. That first uh, trap run over the top isn't so bad. But it's the spike or spear trap later that's really rough. I have gotten it a couple times before, but as this is not one of my daily runs, I don't really have, not really in practice for it. If I just take a little bit of damage, I'll be happy. A lot of people don't do these breakables over here, I don't know why. There's, it doesn't take that long, and there's a ton of them. Of course, you can get them later if you open the door to the shrine. I would be happy to pull more plus three to plus four tomes of any stat. I have the full set of plus threes from the anniversary cards, so any plus fours or quick and easy upgrade. Skill tomes as well. I've been trying to collect some more skill tomes. Let's go ahead and open that. Oops. Sure we got all the breakables. Yeah, this part I would not survive on hard. Oh, well, that's neat. What? How'd that happen? Oh, he's on the adventure mode, isn't he? Oh, that's where the traps are in this one. That PR helps so much. Oh my gosh. Those are one-hit kills um, without... Well, if there's anybody else in the class for one, on a harder difficulty for another, and then without the PRR for a third. Those can really be one-hit kills. There is a way to uh, jump up on that torch like this to avoid everything. But it's a tricky jump to make the first time. And if you miss it, you get hit. At least I found a trick. I've seen people do it the first time a couple times. Sometimes they button and step over, and it's a little easier to get the distance. The fetid stench of sewer fills your nostrils. I am going to go ahead and throw a shield up before I do this. And then I'm going to duck into the side here. I guess I'm not aggroing the cannons yet. That's good. It makes it a bit easier. Oh, it seems like they found me. Alright. Again, those cannons are much deadlier with anybody else in here or on a harder difficulty. So here's where the fun is. I'm going to wait until my uh, cocoon resets. Here we go. See if we can do it. Nope. Nope. Got two hits in. Three. Not bad. Three hits. Oh, four hits. I was sloppy there at the end. Four hits. Again, solo on normal, it's not a big deal. But uh, on hard or elite and with other people in for scaling, 
That really, really sucks. It's a one-hit kill in some cases, and it's actually it's hard to get just one hit sometimes if you don't get the right angle. You hit like three or four or five times at once, and uh, at several hundred a pop, it doesn't take you long to kill you. The other two ways around it are, of course, the Cursed Blade of Jack Tippers, which I don't have yet. I want to get one of that at some point, and that'll make it just a simple matter. And then that um, one <clears throat> Divine Epidestiny thing you can do with uh, gives you the 10,000 temporary hit points, that will also help. You can trigger that before you head down. It won't be a big deal. Which one am I missing? I'm missing this one up here. So, yeah, I really, the first time I saw that, I thought it was an excellent and fun thing that they added. It's a little annoying. It can be a little annoying, but it's also a lot of fun. I'm going to go for memory and see if I can do this for memory. It's been a while, but I think these all go like this. And then it's... One... Two... Three... Four, five. Do I remember that right? Nope. Got the elemental, so I didn't remember it right. Oh well. Um, that sounds like it might be it. I'll look here in a second. All I remember is it's in divine and it's uh, ten thousand temporary hit points. So, cat. something you have to trigger. A healing set. Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, that's it. Undying Vanguard, you're right, Titan. Hit yourself for 1,000, then 20 seconds you have 10,000 temporary hit points. If you use that, you just drop down and don't care because you have enough to do that. So, what did I do wrong? I need to reset again. I need to turn that off because I didn't do this right. All right. So, I did it roughly correct. I just didn't get the actual right things. Yeah, I'm just going to look it up on the wiki real quick. To I haven't run this quite enough yet to have it all down. I know the basics, but I don't remember exactly which goes where or which order to go in. Mm -hmm. Is the audio balance fine? I'm hearing game music pretty well. Uh, what the heck is this called? This is Prove Your Worth. Yeah, Prove Your Worth. Oh, I need that one graphic right there. One, two, three. Oh, that's what I did. I went right. That's what I did. Okay. So, oh, and I didn't do this the right way either, did I? That's the other thing I messed up. Okay. So that's for sure. So it goes out and then they connect the rest of the way. Got it. And then I go one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. I was close.
Now, if you know, an Ion Stone wants to drop out of a crate, that'd be cool. Since we're on the luck roll with the tome and such. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. That's not quite what I meant. Yeah, I don't either. Back off, dog. You should be hearing voiceover right now if you can hear the game sound. And I just take the stun for the boss here. I don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm sorry to anybody who does game sound, but most of the time I just play with sound off. Eight plus small ingrid X. I can't get that chest. Hmm. The problem with anything that's not a name is that it just. I mean, I can show you my other great axes I have here, level 21, but they don't do much compared to Thunderforge at level, so I only use them for one level, really. That's why I want the antique great axe, because that'll be my level 20, 21, and then once I'm 22, I hit Thunderforge, and I'm all ready to go there. So I'm not going to get the optional chest here, and I'm not going to even worry about the... Uh, Whole skill use insult battle. I'll just take the stun. It's not a big deal. Again, on a hard difficulty in a party, it's a big deal. It's a bigger deal, I should say. Yeah, I just need to run. Maybe I'll run Epic Snitch in a little bit and try to get it again. Of course, I probably just used all my luck getting that town, so. Vampire Slayer. Which one's the Vampire Slayer one? I forget. Oh, come on, you used that one already. Give me a different one. Yeah, I need that last piece of the anti great axe so that I can have that done. There we go. So you can solo it, it's not ideal. But it doesn't take that long. Fifteen minutes. Not bad XP for fifteen minutes, I must say. Small building stands curiously alone in the center of the cove. That's pretty ideal for that one, then, Titan. I could see doing that for Devil Assault. Ah. Extra light damage and then the silver DR. Breaking. Um, which one does Jibber's Blade drop in? Let's do that next. 
Doll, you got something hanging out of the corner of your mouth. Like an entire toy that you've ripped up. See, I don't even know why you'd want that, because at level 26 I can equip this, which is plus 11, with Fort Bypass on Dragon's Edge, with First Degree Burn, so stacking extra damage, plus the two slots for the rubies. I don't know why you'd want a loot gen. It just makes sense to me. Yep. I still need to force damage on this uh, axe. That's my new axe. Still need to do that. This isn't the right one, is it? It's the other one. I thought this had an epic one. Old two new tenants or something like that. I got plenty of stuff for the rituals. Well, not the adamantine ritual, I should say, but I don't have the soul gems. You know what? Let's just walk. I know which one I want to go to. I'll just walk, walk to it. Oh, knee. Yeah, I put the uh, force critical on my Level 24 Thunderforge. But I think I'm just going to go force damage on the. the 26. Yes, that's the one. Wow, those uh, triscuits are intense. The days of Tobias, the magic runes indicate that a powerful spell, small, petted creature, shuffle about in the gloom as if they were looking for something. There's the ice. I put, what was it, force damage, I think? Oh, I was going to show a great axis anyway. Yeah, so I've got, of course, the static walking stick, which I can use if I need to, but this is not my specialization. Much better to use, uh, well, that one has force damage. Hmm, interesting. So that's one of the 21s I use. I also switch between... This one, if I'm fighting constructs, and this one, if I'm fighting undead, because of the dis disruption. Those are just what Jen I found. But I would replace all of them with the Epic Antique Great X.
What? I got turned around. I used to avoid those guys, now I'm trying to kill them again. So many things going on. We... Which way am I going? This... Way... Back through here. What do you see outside, dog? Yes, I'm talking to you. What do you see out there? What keeps distracting you? You were out not too long ago. Do you really need to go out again? What? Here. I'll let these guys be on me for a second while I pet you. Oh. And let me kill these guys real quick. Hold on, doggy dog. Hold on, doggy dog. Let me kill these kobolds and look up our password. Uh, maybe. I need to remember which one it is. I think it's this one, but it doesn't show the email changed. That one doesn't show the changed email either. What the heck? Well, try your current email with this password. Let's see if that works. The wind from the east dwindles and dies. Yeah. Being security conscious is rough sometimes. Don't know uh, what your passwords are until you open your password keeper and look at them. Yeah, and then you have to type it in, which on some devices can be a pain. It's all weird characters and nonsensical stuff. She's doing something, man. Just wait. You just wait, dog. Be a good boy like you were earlier. Lay down. Laying down is how you ask to go out. Not staying there and staring. Laying down. If not, then I'll have to try to figure out what the deal is off stream. Is that. Yeah. I thought I had fixed it so there weren't two entries, but there are. And then trying to keep all your passwords in sync across multiple computers, and all that fun stuff, and all your devices, non-computer devices. Nope. All right, I'll try. Well, we can try the other one if it's different. Let's see if this one is different. Uh, that's too short. That's not it. So it's neither of those.
Oh, there's your Twitch, so it should be... Yeah, it's not there. Why is it? I think the sink is off. I think that's what the problem is. Um, probably a Tesla. Oh, let me finish this quest and I'll put a pause screen up on the stream and try to find it over here. Hoping that it's over here. If not, I'm going to have to reset it again. Yeah, I know. It's a pain. The other would be a... Uh, there's actually one I saw in an auto show a long time ago called a Warlock. That was pretty sweet. It was a hardtop convertible that uh, had luggage built in, believe it or not. It was pretty neat. I don't remember much else about it, except that. Loot, please. I'm getting a little bit of lag for some reason right now. Yes, yes, yes. Like I'm worried about flame, I've got the orcish boots. Oh, I got stat drained. How about that? That was rude. I'm offended. Stat draining. Um, let's see, I'm on this side. Down on the floor of this vast pit. Need to go on this side, don't I? Yep. Pipes grow as the second valve triggers another door deeper inside the cave. This is just the bow and arrow. Yeah. Actually, wait a minute. I might be able to stack those arrows on top of the arrows. I have my inventory already. Oops, not that one, that one. Which I have four left. Yeah, I forgot to do arrows, didn't I? I remembered potions, but I forgot arrows. Ah! It's a ladder. Come on. Ladders aren't that hard. <laughs> Evidently, ladders are hard for me to say. <laughs> wow. That, uh, that was something. Are we... Yeah, we're good. I do need to look up her password here. See if I can figure it out, what it's supposed to be. So that we can... Well, I don't starve on the Vita for vacation. I'm not going to be taking my Vita, I don't think. I might, but... Probably not. On opposite sides of the room are levers adorned with bullseyes. I haven't said it in a while, so thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. appreciate any follows, both here on DDO Stream and my own channel. Definitely appreciate extra follows. Basically, just notifies you when people go live on stream. It's 
not much else to it. You occasionally get some Twitch emails, I think, but it's mostly being notified that people are streaming so you can catch them. Easier than rather than having to troll everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this. I haven't done the Epic Three Barrels too often. So I'm not sure. But I don't think any of them are particularly difficult, uh, depending on, of course, class and everything. I mean, if you're a rogue and can disable the traps, then obviously do prove your worth because you've got some. You might. You probably also have the skills to uh, defeat the boss easier. So that's the consideration. Um, this was not bad at all. You saw me just walk through it, basically. It's not a big deal. I do not recommend soloing the last one, though. Uh, Precious Cargo. 22 Cleric. I'd probably say do this one. Legend of Tuto Tobias. I think you'd probably have better luck than Prove Your Worth. Just because of those traps don't really allow you time to heal in between. So I would not recommend doing Prove Your Worth in that case. If you have a rogue along who could do the traps, then Prove Your Worth is not a big deal. I don't think anyway. But clerics being gimped with a jump. And, uh, if you were heavy generation as a druid, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Or if you're actually running in, what was that? Unyielding Sentinel? And have that uh, that uh, particular 10,000 HP ability, then you know you can do it that way. But just as far as being a lower level cleric, I probably would say don't chance it. I mean, try it. It's not a big deal. If you get killed by traps, you get killed by traps. Move on to the next thing. It's not a big deal. But... Oh, I'll go for the impressive trophy on that one. I think... No, maybe they're taking a longer walk. Undying Vanguard. Yeah, that thing. But that's in Unyielding Sentinel, isn't it? We decided that's where it was. Yeah, Unyielding Sentinel and get the Undying Vanguard. If you get that comp... If you get in there and get that, then you really can get through that whole quest. Two minute cooldowns, so you may have to wait here and there. But you should be able to survive it all. You definitely want to pump up your reflex saves where you can, and that is in particular why I have two monk for one, and why I'm using unearthly reactions. Your plus six reflex saves from that, so excuse me. All that helps. I really don't have that great saves. I only have a 47 reflex, but it's good enough for most epic normals. Um, hard is probably not so much. All right, they're back from their walk, so I'm going to switch over here for a minute and uh, try to find that password. So I'm going to go mute and uh, put my break sign up, and I'll be right back.
That's a uh, awesome Cormac. That's a awesome. You get that far, and then that's the thing that kills you. It's like, oh come on. Yeah, I've had that happen before too, and I didn't have enough DPS for the boss. It just really. After all that, that's the thing that gets me. What are you looking for? It's right there. What? I don't even see... I don't even see PlayStation on this version. I see Xbox, Nintendo... You're going to have to reset it, I think. I cannot find it. I don't know where the heck it went. Let me try a different version just to make sure. Unless it's... no. all figured out what the heck happened. Nope. It disappeared. I don't know where it is. I'm sorry. It should be your new email, though. That should be the correct email. Still. Ever since I, one of the, I think after this computer went down, things have been weird with the syncing of all the files. Crisis averted. Evidently, uh, the password was correct on the system, but the email was incorrect. So that's nice. I've had problems with disappearing passwords. I have to take a look at that and figure it out. Let's get back off break here. All right. 
Um, what are the other epic quests here that I need to do? There's one more, right? Oh, it's Ghost, isn't it? Yeah, that one I didn't turn in last time. Portal opens. I do need to do a demon window explorers at some point and figure that out. That's one of those areas I just don't enjoy being in. Blah. Um, two to a Tobias girls, two pockets. Yeah. The current is drawn into an opening in the rock just large enough to wiggle through. This I don't consider easy at all. These pirates must have taken over this it's not that it's bad, but um, I might die in the trap. There's one unavoidable trap, I believe, that I might die in. And uh, the uh, spotter drones are really annoying. I thought I killed it. I should have killed it. Was captured by these pirates. He extensively explored these caves. If a clue to a Rotsri's treasure is hidden in the You can't go in. The underwater way is still available, I believe. You can go in that way. You can rescue him. From beyond the right. Let's just send you this. Oh, I forgot to. I was in a shield and I forgot. The spotted drones are just so annoying. I haven't soloed this one on Epic ever, I don't think. This barrier resembles those in Kenneth installations. I am going to kill this spotter drone because he annoys me. Well, it does take a couple hits. There we go. Well, I'm thinking about it. Let's go ahead and put that shield on. There we go. It's time for another spotter drone. I didn't fit. Did I go back the other way? I forget. Past that barrier is the uh, trap that I'm talking about. 
We'll go back over here and see what I've missed. I thought I got everything, but evidently I didn't. Oh, that's right, there's another lever back here. I forgot about that one. As I said, I haven't soloed this very much, so half the time somebody else is doing this stuff. Really? You're gonna be that annoying. Another crystal. To smash. Sit down, dogs. Look like it controls another barrier elsewhere. Well, a way has opened. What's a sniper drone? Not a spotter. When you pull the lever, you hear the sound of a game. Might as well do the optionals. No real reason not to. Just remember where they are. I was doing a Trizark speed run, I wouldn't have done that, I don't think. I don't think it's worth the time. But I'm not doing that at the moment. So it should be okay. Alright. Here's the fun part. See if I have enough DPS to take the cannon down. Because cannon's only part of your problem. This trap here is pretty deadly. I'm hoping all my resistance will help through it. But there was another guy back there. Just in case stun skin will help, stun skin. And wait for my. Actually, I am going to go ahead and drop into. Oh, I can't do that. That's right, I'm not centered, so I can't do that. Crap. Okay, well, let's just see how it goes then. Not bad. Not bad at all. So again, in a group or at hard difficulty, that just is... Everybody pretty much dies there. It's been my experience. Just plan on it. Set up a res chain. Actually, they take it on the other side of it, not go through it again. Um, you know, I haven't done the puzzle in a while. I might do go ahead and do the puzzle. I have to look it up. I don't want to be on stream trying to figure it out. It takes too long that way. Oop, guess what? I forgot that that's what the trap was. Huh. It's like, oh hey, I hadn't... Uh... You can see how deadly it was that time. Much worse than it was the time before. Just go ahead and do that. Uh, there's a lever somewhere I'm missing. There it is.
Do I do the boss now or later? No, it's later. So this is the one where if you talk to him first and go back to that boss, I don't remember how it works. I'll just try to do the puzzle. Oh, you have to if you kill the crystal. That's it. I'm trying to talk to you, but you're kind of uh Alright, let's look the puzzle up real quick. It's a very interesting puzzle. I like it. If you do it wrong enough, you can kill him. This is goes to a chance. So all I need to do is have this handy on, say, a tablet next to you, and then keep track of which one's which. So this is southwest. I'll start at the top. Okay, looks good to there. Goes down around. What? Is there something different about the epic version? Um, epic. Oh, I didn't, oh, that lever is what disables the trap. Oh, I didn't realize that. Huh. So that lever back, back behind that pillar is what disables the trap for like 10 seconds. Oh, the puzzle doesn't work any extra P, XP. Maybe easier than the end fight. Well, forget that. It's not going to work any XP. We'll just do it the easy way. Uh, here I was excited to get some extra XP from doing the puzzle because nobody usually bothers with it in Epic that I've seen. The end fight isn't that bad. Yeah, I don't see the problem. It's really easy. So really, you're supposed to kill the sailors first. And so you can get them all down so they stop peeing with arrows. And then you take some of the cannons down so you can stop pinging you. And then you go after the boss. But, eh. It's not a big deal. I'm one-shotting some of the cannons. The key to get dude out of the cage, where the puzzle is, and some crappy loot. Something I didn't smash. Oh, there's a necro going on. I would love to join that. You gotta hurry though, it's Vol. Vol is really fast. No drops. Alright, double recall. Let's see if we can get over that Vol. To an opening in the rock just large enough to wiggle through.
This is a time when teleport really handy. Not that it matters overly much. With the airship, I'm fairly close. Invisible blades have hit guild level 100. Congratulations. That is awesome. Say hello to everybody. Get up there and get in. Make sure I get the XP and loot. This is where the bootstrap, isn't it? It looks like I'm actually in time to do something. Oh, that's right, I've got fear immunity, I don't need to worry about it. Well, that's right, this is on hard, isn't it? Maybe I'm a little more careful. I was thinking this was normal. I was going to go right into it, but it is not. Hi, I brought friends. Oh, if some of my augments went off. There we go. Make it much easier to survive this. Boy, she's being annoying. in the way. He does that. He gets in the way. How dare you run? Don't 
suppose we're doing the optional uh, guys. Roots. That's what they're called. Come over here so I can stun you. Stop running around. enough. Come on, boots. Come on, boots. Come on, boots. Those are not boots. Somebody got the fang gloves, though. Arcane casting next area. That's right. I don't need that. Looks like we're on to flesh makers next. Yep. Looks like this group's doing the whole chain, which is good. I haven't done this in a while. I just saw a uh, red name, rare in orchard, right as we uh, tell or recalled out. Oops. Somebody triggered something. I see they had to walk. I think it's worth doing the. Even if you stay epic, do the uh, explorers and heroic. Or at least run the quests real quick to open up the guy who teleports you for epics. It's much easier that way. Grave robbers sort through the discarded body. The slayers are not easy. There's big groups of mobs, and you can have a couple of them trigger on you at once, which is not fun. Right, missed. I'm having fun with ladders today. That's what's best in life, is be curled up on you. 
while you're doing your thing. I thought I'd catch one of those sprays. Hmm. I don't know. Not many of us use X split, so don't really have any idea of what might be wrong. Is the update uninstalling reinstalling? That's odd, Titan. It's epic. I always presume somebody can. Deeper into the laboratory. A heavy locked door stands to the north. That's fine. I'm sure it's probably lag, but that person walked up and uh, sling blowed the guy, and then just sat there for a minute. Like, okay, I did my my job. You guys kill him now. I did the stun. Oh, hey, look at that. Ooh, with remnants even. With monster chunks even. Yay, monster chunks. Oh. I, yep, I messed that up. <laughs> more chests, more monster chunks. Yay! I'm sorry, mysterious remnants, or fragments, or monster tokens, or whatever you call them. Oh. Well, this is a, seems good for uh, mysterious remnant farming. If everyone in here is going to be a thing. You are being a jerk. But you can collect cold and all. Oh, there's a guy over there. How did I get that one? Yeah, I got that one. Alright. I guess I got all the chests, I'm not sure. Yeah, sure. Take that. Where are you going? I'm trying to kill you. 
I'm trying to kill you, it's rude to go elsewhere. Nearly everybody went to check for that. That's hilarious. I guess all of us have been burned too many times by somebody not doing that. disruption appears. I'd like somebody else to tank. There we go. Junk. Didn't make anything good. Uh, so we got the goggles. I want those goggles. Ah, here we go. Roll. 1D100. Oh! Really? I rolled a 63. He rolled a 61. Low. Yeah, I know. It was that close. Oh, well, there's always the end reward, right? <laughs> wonder why they didn't do cross save on that uh got Call out to you, and the icy winds of Rizia blow through the frozen cave. The 
wayward philosophers gathered on the ice. <laughs> Yeah. A thin layer of cracked ice covers the hole, blocking the sun. Yeah, no quells, no quells. That may be my favorite thing about wearing this gear is that no quells. Actually, I should say quells don't affect me. Mysterious remnant two. I need to remember to watch for those. Watching Ice Flinzer's dance is funny. Let's see how we split here. Going to the second, brother. Stay here then. Someone needs to stay up. Split.
Okay, prepped. That worked out. The way down is now clear. The familiar voice calls again, louder. Yeah. That's why I was happy to get the. I think the first item I got was the uh, glimpse of the soul with the quell prevention or intercession ward or whatever they call it. And even though I'm a melee and doesn't really matter that much, it's still annoying. Just the vision change is annoying. I thought he was dead. Oops. Here we them. I don't know why they're buffing.
and junk. Have a guy there holding a riding light. Nothing for me. rises from the menacing entrance to the inferno of the damned inferno of the damned Do you want us to start? A hoarse voice drifts through the halls. Seek the flame guardians. Defeat them all. Then I shall appear. The guards here are the flagstones echo beneath your feet, as if they were another chamber below. <laughs> This portal glows with an infernal heat. I really dislike when that happens. Either somebody's not paying attention, or they are paying attention, but... They get a double strike in, or whatever, and you go right back. We go down this way first. Let me go run the other way. He's already got a lit. Thank you for dropping a chest. That's nice of you.
Ah. I was just thinking I need an angle to fall so I don't get that. Got it anyway. Oh, that was a nice big number. 6,500. Does the Ruby have a Russian scale with your... Uh Ask for spell power. So that could be pretty awesome if it did. Something weird is going on. There it goes. Well, if that was lag or what, I couldn't select anything or attack anything. Or it's weird. fun to hit that hard. This way, wait. The Guardian will appear. Hmm, the 
second. Oh, nice. Oh, this is gonna suck. It's a champion acolyte. Can we go this way to get the chest? Or am I thinking wrong? No, I was right. This way to get the chest. Enough that some of them are sleeping. Yeah, that was pretty neat. The stone fire aluminum. That were pretty neat. Con damage, come on. That's not what I need right now. Let's just finish him off. I'm not going to go back for it, but I still wonder if that uh, Acolyte dropped any mysterious fragment. I can think much of bobbers. Just be about it. There we go. Any mention of the Black Abbot? Perhaps someone else controlled the creature? And nothing. Inferno Bracers. That's about it.
thanks for the run, guys. Well, that went pretty well. Everybody cross your fingers. That the chain reward is something useful. Take the gloves or the boots, really. Prefer the boots. Yeah. I really prefer the boots. Please give me the boots. Survey says uh, the belt again. Oh well. Wah, wah, wah. Oops. Let's re grab all these. We need some repairing and all that mumbo jumbo. So we'll get back to the ship for that. Every time I tried to take a drink, my character was running into something. Uh, looks like uh, market desk going on. I do not remember if I'm on time or if they're not. I'll check. I said they're doing a free run, so even I missed this one, maybe I can catch the next one. Usually if they're doing a few runs, that means they've got it down and they get it done pretty quick. High road. EH. Yeah, I have yet to do a mark of death where I haven't died. It is not a friendly sort of thing. I had it on while it was happening, but I wasn't laser focused on it. Let us flaming adamantine great axe of bloodletting. Interesting. Um, I don't want that to show up in there, and I don't want that to show up in there. Oh, it looks like I might have some decent value here. 
61k worth of stuff to sell. Not bad. Definitely profitable. Nothing interesting there. The flaming axe was a second. Let me need to get that in there. And there was a potion. Yes. Potion. Need to collect my stuff. And we should be good there. Yeah, I know. I'm getting there. Give me a second. Where did it go? It's not there. Oh, page two. I have very rarely. So this is the one you want? Plus six flaming adamantine great axe of bloodletting. Adamantine plus seven flaming five and bloodletter five. Okay, why is it not? Is that how you do it? Okay. I don't usually buy back. You want to go to Titan 1? Uh, no, I want to open that up and throw that in there. There you go. On its way. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to take check my quest timers. So I can do Vaughn, Deathworm, and Mod. I'm clear for all of those. Don't see anybody doing anything I really want to do. Um, got just around a little over an hour, I guess. Don't want to over at Queen's stream today. So let me think. House C, nothing I want to do there. House D. I guess I could do bargain on EH, but that doesn't really appeal. House K. Have, let's see here. Ransack. Wow, we did Therask already? Man, it's been a long day. Just past seven hours of streaming. Full carbon water. Well, I'm actually running out of stuff to do that I normally do. Or feel comfortable doing. You know, let's do... Look that up. I need the seal of the antique great axe. I'm going to start an EE e e snitch if I remember where snitch is. Let's see. Snitch down there? Snitch is down here, isn't it? I might came from the teleporter. Uh, that's right. I thought I came from the guild ship entrance. Uh, 
All right, and snitch is five. That was seal, right? I already forgot. Yeah, the seal. I have the shard and the scroll. I need the seal. Let's see if any bites on that. Just might like a minute or two more. If nobody bites, then I'll stop. I'll just go on an EH myself. See what happens. There's another orchard going. Gotta leave something to do tomorrow. Let's see, did my my potion wore off probably a while ago? Yeah. All I've got is the one percent chip buff. He's got 62 viewers now. All right, it's been a couple minutes and no one's buying, so maybe I'll try that again later when I have more time to sit and wait. I'll just go on the EH. Perhaps Roderick Nettle won't cause a scene if you ask him a few discreet questions in a public place. That works. I was trying to stun him, but icing works. of smoke wafts down the corridor. Check out my next green steel item and see if I can build it yet. Went the other day with somebody doing this, and we realized you can pop up here, get that door, and 
Sometimes you get a rare here. An extra quick chest. But it doesn't look like it's happening this time. So, we'll just ignore that. Hop back down. If you could lower one of the nearby ladders, you would be able to climb up onto the rooftops. If pigs could fly, you could fly up to the rooftops. As you turn the valve, you hear a metallic clang in the distance, and angry squeals nearby. Oh, come on, what hit me? I was wondering if you really wanted that. Oh, you didn't. You wanted that. I thought you were reaching for your coke. Yeah. <laughs> it's stuck on those stairs quite a bit. victory. <laughs> There's my luck with ladders today. That was odd. As you open the valve, the muffled sound of gears turning can be heard from the water below. Your pursuit has led you out of Tanner's Alley and into a quieter, more prosperous neighborhood. Watchdogs dream peacefully in the sunshine below. If you're careful, you can catch up to Roderick Metal and still let sleeping dogs... Oh, that's right, I'm an EH. That won't work. I missed my uh, auction house tome for my plus three to plus four, but silently upgrade. Not that one point would have made a huge difference, but, you know, it might have made some.
should have enough to take him down fairly fast. It's time to deal with him once and for all. One of the few times actually you meditate. That makes sense. Having to reboot for admin rights to apply. I uh, didn't see a sealed anti great axe there, unfortunately. Um, that's really tempting to get an EH crucible out of the way. Because I only have it on Epic Normal, I think. But that could take a while as well. No, I'm not going to do that. Lords of Dust, EE. -E. That I'm down with. Yes, there are eight epic levels. There's 20 heroic levels, then eight epic. So Level 27, like I am, I only have this one level left before I epic reincarnate again. Get rid of my junk, because Lords of Dust, you can get a bunch of uh, stuff. Oh, and before I forget, I want 100 arrows. Thank you. 100 arrows in there to get. Damaged. Don't worry about it. Oh, good. I, I know everybody in the party so far, so we should be good. Yep. Cap is going to 30 sometime this year, supposedly. Which is why some people are stepping up their uh, epic and iconic reincarnation game to. Uh, Bang the eight levels up before they have to do ten instead. It is sometime this year planned. Hey there. I think they've been deliberately vague on exactly when. But it is planned for this year.
in some ways I'm looking forward to increase, but on the other hand, it means more work. So I personally want to get my next five, six epic lives out of the way so I can get completionist. Get the extra twist slot. Stay near me. Inquisitor Noman waits for you near the entrance. And then uh An irritated scowl on his face. Yeah, we'll see. Not sure whether I I really have been enjoying epics a lot more than heroics, so to a certain extent I want to stay in epics, but I also wanna think about getting heroic and iconic past lives as well. So not hundred percent on what I'm gonna do. I would like to get at least one more character up to epics. So that I can have an ever character there all the time for festivals and such. However, there may be more of them. We must press on. I shall go this way and dispatch the rest of this filth. You go the other way. Spitcraft something or other. Hey, geeking. Yeah, I mean, every everything's additive, right? So all the passive stuff is worth having, at least. Plus, I mean, when I started this character, there weren't epic past lives. So I had always planned on taking this character all the way up and then doing the heroic TR thing. But I stopped really doing that around, or I stopped enjoying heroics as much as I was around 12 or 14, somewhere in there. And it was just a grind to get to 20 that wasn't as enjoyable as I'd hoped. But then once I got hit 20, I was like, oh wow. I'm having all the fun again. And now that I'm more powerful having past lives and such, it's really nice. Hey guys, I'm all way. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of curious to see what happens with uh, The Epic Destinies with another class coming in. Yeah. Oh. The novice who accompanied Noman lies on the ground in the hallway ahead. Past lives are pretty interesting. Um, basically, when you reincarnate. For heroics, it's whatever class you are. Is it? Yeah, iconics is whatever iconic you are, and then for uh, epics, it's whichever epic destiny sphere you choose to take the karma out of. Basically, you get a passive past life feat based on that, whatever that was. So, for example, I'll show you here in a second. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you get these epic past life stances like I have, which are the sort of active components. So this one is double strike. As long as I'm in this stance, I get plus three double strike each of my three past lives that had that. So I get 9% double strike for that. And the fast healing three times each minute I heal 5 HP plus 5 HP for every 5 character levels and you double or triple that with each stack plus there's a passive bonus which is 
plus three minimum, maximum HP and plus four per ten character levels. So it's extra HP plus you heal, which is awesome for a melee. And then the double strike uh, passive one was plus two AC and one AC per ten character levels. So I have extra armor class and I've got automatic healing and extra hit points stacked up because I did it past lives. So each heroic class and each of the epic destinies. So you see I have six million, six million, six million, and then five point something million. You have to have six million in a sphere to get the past life for that. So that's why I'm still in the uh, primal sphere getting the uh, karma back up, which is basically XP. But yep, Orlock's coming. Epic Shroud stuff is coming. Epic Greensteel at least, and Veil and Shavarath stuff. Interesting to see what comes out of all that. He got stunned like four times. That's hilarious. That one's also dead already. All right. Cool. Visitor Noman stands next to a strangely confident-looking drow. They seem to be finishing some elaborate and unholy ritual. What? Surprised I am not who you thought I was. You mean computer games? No, I don't think so. Not that I've heard anyway. I know they've mentioned the pen and paper new versions that came out, but that's about it. This is where I take some let somebody else tank. This guy can be deadly.
I never got into that, so this has really been my only MMO since I don't even know. Since MUDs probably. Oh, this isn't the chain, it's just the quest. And I'm the only one left. Yay. Yeah, I mean, I knew it was out. I just never. I think I even knew people who played it, but never one of my things. Old school muds were about all I played. Uh, don't drink the water. <laughs> He's doing don't drink the water. Yee. That's somewhat tempting, but. Eh. Gotta be able to find something else to do to fill in like, what, half hour or so that I've got left before Queen starts. Right at seven and a half hours right now, streaming today. Which is a good long bit, I must say. And I want to make sure everybody has a break before Queen starts, so I'm not going to go longer than another half hour at the max. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to do? Take too long. What have I not done today? So I've been out to Three Brill Cove, been out to the sands, been out to the orchard. Been to House D, House K, House P. Yep, Hog, see ya. Thanks for watching. Um, done the evening star ones I normally do. Yeah, I'll just go back to House P. Should have just enough time to run through party crashers and maybe snitch again. Let's see. Then we'll call it sometime in here. With a mark, the air in the illusion area is different than outside, as if you were transported into the deep jungles of Zendrick. As with anything built by House Fiala, it is difficult Me. to tell what is real and what is illusion. The air suddenly shifts from tropical heat. Dog is so relaxed and sleeping right now. It's funny. Considering how anxious he was earlier. Hey, old Opie, how's it going? have signal crystals attached on top. Are they simply decorative? With House Fialan, one can't. Though you can see the rest of Stormreach through the skylights above, the light from outside does not reach this room. The only illumination comes from Foster.
phosphorescent mushrooms. my headset a little bit I'm starting to cramp up my ears <laughs> hey queen I'm just finishing up my run here figure I'd leave everybody a break before you started only destroying the real will end this death Unlike the previous room, this place feels like it's the big room itself. That scorpion completely enveloped the Mark of Shadow. You will need to destroy it in order to get it. Yeah. The destruction of this make-believe scorpion has also extinguished the Mark of Shadow. The illusionary barrier is gone. Been over seven and a half hours since I started streaming, so I'm about ready to stop anyway. <laughs> about hit my limit for the day. Yeah, I understand that. I was a little bit uh, bleary this morning when I started. Illusionary chain, seriously. Come on. You hardly ever hit me with that. Yes, I know they are. That's why I'm trying to get out of here and avoid him. He's being a jerk. He's really being a jerk today. Losing our chains and knockdowns all over the place. And done. All right, cool. Now let's smack down him. You know, we're gonna switch back to Dance of Flowers. Get that higher base damage, so my crits actually do better. But you still need to enter the chapter house and stop the Maleficent Cabal's attack. Oh, hey, Elixir. I'll take that. That was a nice surprise. The Fialan Chapter House must have been closed as a precaution during the Grand Gala. The ball I'm making pretty good time through here. I think I'm probably do snitch then call it after that. Likely that next to the security gates, a large dragon mark of shadow is embedded into the wall. If it were to activate, you would not be able to destroy Sleepy puppy. it as you did with the marks in the illusion area. The Chapter House Theater normally hosts stage plays for Fialan's elite patrons. It looks like its shows are on hold during the Grand Gala. Much better showing than when I did it earlier. That was like the first thing I did this morning, I think. I don't remember.
I'm definitely looking forward to getting up and stretching and not staring at the screen for a little while at least. You may listen to listen or have at least have it on the background. Queen's minion session. It's worth watching. Definitely stay around for that. They have a lot of fun, foolishness and all that. It's a good time. But uh, any break. And eat, yes. Although my lunch lasted like three hours. So I was trying to keep streaming and not interrupt too much. Now to find the guest list and add Cyan's name. After I uh, did that shroud run last night with Tight and Bonnie and them, signed off real quick and went to the bathroom, looked at my eyes, and man, were they sore looking. They looked really painful. I'm trying to remember to blink more today. Now let's play Wait for Cyan. She should be popping out the door right there. She is right on time. Not really. My eyes were sore. Felt just to be able to close them last night, let alone sleep. I uploaded my uh, debut Caught in the Web video last night. It should be available now on my YouTubes. While we're waiting for Cyan to walk, keep in mind that today is Monday and Mini Monday with Queen starts at 4 Eastern. I'll be back tomorrow at 5 Eastern. And uh, there's the rest of the normal schedule. At some point, I will switch Shrider Palooza with Titans Friday run. And then this is me. Here's other places you can find me. Oops. Yeah, I didn't know that worked. I did a. Uh... Interesting. So, as always, we appreciate follows on both this channel and uh, our personal channels. All of us on the stream team appreciate that. Where is Cyan? Did I mess up telling her to go? I did, didn't I? I'm sitting here waiting for her. She hasn't started walking yet. There we go. Oops. Yeah, we appreciate follows and on Twitch and subscriptions on YouTube and anybody who wants to get the word out and tell people about the streams and the game and all that. It's a fun community. It's fun to stream and interact with everybody. We have a good time. So join us more often if this is your first time. We hope to be continually entertaining and uh, enjoy interacting with everybody. Except for that one person I had a band the other day. Dog's dreaming. His tail started going. He's twitching. Yeah, not on this channel, my personal channel. Um, 
the other day. They were being really rude. I don't think I can ban somebody on this channel. So it's a moot point here, but uh, yeah. I was talking to somebody about following and that I'd be streaming today and they made a really rude comment that was uncalled for and just uh, didn't want to deal with it. So I banned them. That was my first ban on my stream ever. Kind of unfortunate, but it's one of those things you know it's coming at some point. At some point, somebody's going to be rude. Yeah. I figure if it becomes a problem, we'll figure something out. I'm not doing a good job isolating that guy. I cannot get to him. just him in the melee. There we go. Looks like a guard got killed, but that's okay. Just one. That sucks. It sucks when you have to do that. Hey, Rathko, how's it going? Yeah, for everybody who's just joining, this is Seymour Argoon. I've been streaming for going on eight hours today, uh, filling in some blank space in the schedule since I was off for holiday. Queen will be starting as normal here shortly. Got a little bit of time left before then. Yep. It's better just to ignore them and move on than worry about them. I don't want to spend any more time than the two clicks it takes to ban them. It's not worth it. Hi, Enigma. The skittish cat's come up probably because he's hungry. I'll have to feed him after I'm done. What you doing? You looking for food? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, you weren't dying this morning when you were all meowing all over the place. You're fine. Alright, looks like there's enough time for a snitch real quick and then I'll be done. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everybody does sometimes, but really you just ban and move on. It's not worth wasting time on. The sounds and smells of the busy tavern drift in from the next room. It's the approach I'm trying to take. I mean, you know that that's the right thing to do, but sometimes you just get steamed and you want to vent and all that. That's my new trick, taking out that caster one shot as soon as they pop in. It's fun. There we go. I have been streaming other games on my channel finally, like I promised I would. So, DDO is not the only thing I play, it's just the only thing I play the most. Yeah, Enigma? Are you trying to tell me you're hungry? Is that what that means? Yeah. I hear you, buddy. Let me finish this quest real quick. And I'll say bye to all the peoples and hand over to Queen. And then I can feed you. Oh, ladder glitch. Come on. Oh, Jelly champion. That's funny. Hello, let me up. Up the ladder, thank you.
went down to the caves too early. Get up there. Doing pretty good on progress towards 28. Should be a problem to get 28 this week. At some point. If you could lower one of the nearby ladders, you would be able to climb up onto the rooftops. As you turn the valve, you hear a metallic clang. Didn't make it this time. That was some fun bit of lag. Kitten. Get out of his way. He's not getting fed before you. You're all getting fed at the same time. Where is my auto attack? Why is my auto attack not working? Using the primal pass lives for automated healing and then cocoon. Okay. That's what you'll see just randomly healing you off without me doing anything. It's the uh, primal fast healing. have the stance active. It works out really nicely most of the time. Sometimes a minute can be a long time, but usually it helps keep me topped off. And Most of the time I don't notice in the smaller fights. If I get damaged a little bit, it doesn't matter. He is completely ignoring you, cat. Don't get all huffy. Ah, uh, dog. Leave him alone, dog. As you open the valve, the muffled sound My UMD isn't really high enough to do good scroll healing, and uh, potions, of course, have their issues. So I found that having the fast heal option is really nice. It saved my butt a few times. And, uh, otherwise it just keeps me topped off. If Your nothing else. Your led you out of Tanner's alley and into a quieter, more prosperous... Watchdogs dream Can't really have too much healing. Sunshine below. If you're careful, you can catch up to Roderick Nettle and still let sleeping dogs lie. I know my move silently isn't enough for those dogs, as we found out earlier when I did this quest. So, no problems with that. So I'm basically at the end now. A couple more minutes, it'll be over.
No, I have not. I know some people really enjoy that. Um, I looked at it and just decided I'd rather be, have pretty much guaranteed constant healing. Or no, that's different. That's a. Um, that's not a primal, is it? That's a arcane. I haven't done arcane past lives yet. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to be meditating. Got distracted by chat. And I'm tired. So no, I have not. I'm going on to divine next. I've got three uh, marshals and three primals now. I'm moving on to divine. All right, if you're gonna stand there, let's get this thing done. Pretty much do it for me. Queen's going to start here shortly with uh, Minion Monday. I'm just going to turn my stuff in here, get back to the ship, repair, put up the uh, promos a minute, and uh, Primal. Okay. It is Primal. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, I went for the fast healing. I read over it and decided I wanted the fast healing. And double shot was obviously going to be useless for me. So, at some point, I'll probably swing back and get the rest of them and try them out. Especially since you still get the passive uh, hit points, right, for those. So, that'll still be good to get. Did I hit out all repair? Yeah, I did. Interface lag, okay. Yeah. Generally I'm okay on damage though. What I needed was survivability. Uh, everything but the potion. So, anything that helps me survive longer. Particularly on the harder stuff I'm soloing. I know you can argue that damage is a form of that, but I seriously get hit hard sometimes and need the healing. And it's just automatic, so no resource drain, nothing to manage, just happens, which is really nice. Alright, so this is going to be probably right at 8 hours when I'm done here. So again, check out more pe members of the community stream team here on DDO stream. Um, here's the schedule. It should be also below the video if you're on web. Hey, Mr. Walker. If you're on a mobile device, if you tap the video, tap the I button, you should see it there. I will be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. Maybe doing some epic leads, not sure, but trying to get level 28 for sure on here. Uh, unless something comes up I play a different character, but that's usually what happens here as I play epics. And don't forget, Shattered Blues on Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern uh, is on Thelonis this week. Self promo. This is all me. Um, see more of me on Twitch TV slash Simorgu, YouTube user Simorgu, uh, my site Simorgu.com, Twitchy, and uh, Steam. I'm also on Twitter and PlayStation and Xbox and other stuff, but. This is probably where I've been hanging out uh, recently. And uh, the Queen will be starting in 20-ish minutes. So hang around for Queen's uh, Minion Monday. And I uh, hope everybody enjoyed it. Again, appreciate follows and all that. See you tomorrow night, if not before. Thanks all.